if he can buy the watches, he don't need you to buy that shit. Well, he didn't have one, so why he didn't get one? Because he didn't want one. And you know why? You know why? Because niggas not thoughtful. You would never think to get yourself a watch case. Nope. That's why I got him. Because he got a lot of watches. He could put what, four of them in there. You he a still, hater. Three. He still got more. He still got a bunch of watches laying around. You only bought him one. One watch card? Yeah. Why would I like him too? Wow. Damn, chica, you fucking women that only buy you one? Mm -hmm. I ain't that nigga no more. You better not show up. But yeah, I'm not acting like I don't do nothing for niggas. You I'm gotta not, stop I'm that, because you got motherfuckers out money, here believing though. you don't do shit for I'll nobody. I'll buy you something, but give you money? Oh, why look. you need money from me? Man, why you need money from a nigga? Because that's how it goes. Nobody, <laughs> nobody said he needed your money. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Huh? Nobody right. said he needed your money. Do you need his? No. See, it goes both ways. I don't need it. You can use it. But you know, <laughs> I'm gonna talk well, to that. I like this filter. Make me look. That's cute. Mm mm. What's wrong? I think you look. Good. Mm mm. You mm -mm. just heard what she said. This filter make me look. What about what God made you look like? And, right? and that's why I don't use filters. Yeah, I one. rarely use filters. Well, like, stop then. Don't start today. Because the face, you're going to face. You think that's what it's about? What? It's them titties that put you on. <laughs> Just saying. Hey, shit. What about my mind? Who cares? We've heard the type of shit you think about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my god. Nobody's goodness. interested in that. <gasps> Would you like to try the mind today? No, just bring me my two regular titties, man. I ain't fuck all that intellectual shit. I hate it here. No, you don't. It's a little... It is not that bad. <laughs> you have been the worst. I know that's right. We got everything. Oh, it's tasty. What? The gum. You fuck with it? I'm it's that old people gum. Hold Ain't no sugar in it. <laughs> not that sugar free. <laughs> That shit don't stick to your dinner work. Oh, fucking dead. No, don't be dead. Why do you want to be dead? I don't want to be. I just you just say I'm dead. I'm dead. What you going to say when you die? I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. <nah. laughs> don't be dead. That's what her shirts, her memorial shirts, going to say. I'm dead. <laughs> For real this time. <laughs> Don't be dead. You got to speak positivity. It's 2022. I'm alive don't sound good, though, when I'm, like, laughing. I'm dead, duh. Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's fucked up. People I like, say I'm dying of laughter. I don't believe them people. Mm. I like when people say I laugh my ass off, because that's, that's top tip. In the black community, anything you can do, LMAO, and throw your and like that nigga cook his ass off. Yeah. Anything your ass off is good. <laughs> yeah, anything that nigga dance off. his ass he off, fight his ass off, yeah. fight his ass <laughs> off. Man, that girl can drive her ass off. That's yeah. like the top. Mm -hmm. Can't nothing beat that. That's true. That's a top tier compliment. I don't do anything with my ass off. Come on now, it's got to be something. <laughs> I'm not good at your pictures. You're not good at taking your ass off. I'm not good at. You do, all, you do everything with your ass out. <laughs> nah, but ass now out. we talking. Both of y'all, ass out. Now why? You always, boy, Am you I? are the most confused. <laughs> hey, you just, boy, you'll be a good witness on a, if I ever did a crime, it'll be with Call you. me. Yeah, because you don't know shit. What? I'm a put Who did what? Excuse me? Who said that? Chico. Who is that? Pull up the 85 thing. Oh, I've nah. never seen that man. I don't, I don't know that man. Good. That's that's how you're supposed to keep it. It is. Fuck that shit. We'll jump this shit off in a second. Alright. Get your mind right. I'm about to pass the paper around and take everybody's gun. Yeah. Damn. Times done changed out here, man. My nigga Chico got a job. No. Chico got a job? Chico got a uh, fucking job. What you be doing? At the radio station. Oh, for real? Yeah, they got me working at the radio. It's really community service, Which but they're treating it like a job. 1079. Oh, okay. Doing the morning show. That's what's up. You like it? You know, it's a job. <laughs> I ain't had a job in 13 you. years down there, so it's a job. Is a job. Yeah. job is a job, man. You know what I mean? Well, you doing your thing. Yeah, you on that blood like an expert. <laughs> and he looked down at it once. 
That's what we like around here, man. Excellent. Professional shit. You gotta keep that shit yeah, real don't nice. Roll the you be rolling up? No. Come on, man. You, you from Texas. What that mean? Everybody in Texas know how to roll blunt? Man, most women in Texas can roll a fire ass blunt. Legs. Mm -hmm. You roll a blunt? Hell no. Y'all fucking useless. <laughs> I know how to roll a blunt. Why not? Because, I don't know. Do I think my blunt? lips too big. You think coming your off, lips too big to roll a blunt? It be coming out soggy. Nah, I bet your lips... Not ah. wet mouth, dude. <laughs> bet your lips ain't too big to... Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I can take you there. Well, yeah. <laughs> All you got to do is say it like this. Yeah. I'm ready for that nigga to come on the show. Who? Yeah, me too. Y&J. Oh, he says that all the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Coochie Man. J. Wayne, that's a hard little, little banger you got over that there. That is. Oh, time to start the motherfucking jokers I can smoke. Talk shit like my heart broke. I guess I can just put my gum on a cook. Fucking with my folks. You can't rap on that. Trying to get a couple strokes. What would you What would you say to her on that one? Hello. What's up? You can't get no money no more. <laughs> I'm tired of you robbing me. Oh. <laughs> My bank account in the negative, and you don't fuck with me no more. Hey. You be coming to my show. What she say? Talking all out to my bro. <laughs> Trying to get some new clothes. Oh. Cause she done did that shit again Cause she done pulled me to the side Like, what's up with your friend? I'm like, when? You like, him? Man, you know how that nigga is He just be chilling and getting money And hell, taking care of his kid He be at the crib And he don't really be fucking around too much But when he fuck around He only do like such and such A few things Let him hang He got something on his brain That nigga might walk off And just drive off And then go and do his thing But she don't ask me Cause that ain't really my business To be telling Cause y'all be yelling Act like y'all don't, but that ain't my business. Hey, I wasn't no witness. I was like, y'all crazy as hell. And stayed at the business. Stay and walked out outside the and hit the black of the blunt. Because I know that y'all gonna get together after a month. It's just, uh, she needs some time. She doing her thing. And she be like, why you be right here and you doing your thing? She, she told me that she wanna leave. What she going? Cause I could buy her a new weed. <laughs> Facts. I'm like, damn, that's messed up. I thought we was in love. She said you got me fucked up. It's all about the money, bro. Is it? I'm not no inexpensive hoe. Hmm? She said I could hit the door. I said I can't fuck no more. She said no. And then I drove to the store and bought a weed. Cause I am not prepared to leave. But what I do? I bought the weed. Said fuck you, didn't buy the glue. Ooh. She probably got some weed blue at the cabinet at home. She be like, girl, come here and fix my hair. And they gon' be up in the bathroom with weave everywhere. You probably bought them bundles. You know my homeboy, he be selling them. And he be getting them on the Monday. He be mailing them to the crib. Well, to his mama house, but I know the box. And he be like, bro, bring it in the house and sit it in my room by my bed. So my girl can put it in her head. That's what he said. I wasn't scared, so I grabbed it, because I knew it wasn't no pounds or no weed. <laughs> it was just a big box of weed. Big box of weed, but that pussy is a killer. They on our show talking to some other niggas. Ain't that something? On, on the whole damn time. You ask her who she talking to, then she get the line. That's my bro. Oh, you ain't know. I knew him like 10 years before I ever met y'all on this show. I said, oh, yeah. She said, yeah, we don't do nothing. We just be chilling over here and over there. I said, you lie, you probably fucking that nigga. She said, you got me fucked up. I ain't fucking no nigga. I said, well, let me see inside your phone. She told me, take my big bald head ass home. I'm like, bitch, who you talking to? What? She said, you. Mm -hmm. She this said, you can't story. tell me what to do. Okay. I'm like, okay, that's what you say. Next month, when your rent needs to be paid, call that nigga that you talking to on the phone. On the phone. And you ain't never coming in my home. Man, in my home, in my house. Yeah, cause you ain't shit. 
you gonna be a bad ass homeless bitch. That's what I see. <laughs> and that's so real. Move to a new place. Don't tell her where you live. <laughs> hey, no directions for your kids. Hey, she get no key to the crib. Mm -mm. You can't even come oh up in my living room. Nope, you can't come in here to use the bathroom. Nope, I know that you be bitching. Don't let me catch your stinking ass walking through my kitchen. You know how I know they be fucking niggas up. I ain't never seen nobody put a Capri Sun in a cup. What the fuck? Hey man, welcome back to the Firestar Show. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my God. We got some very special guests in the house with us today. Family. You know, oh, man. You know what I mean? Family. They ain't not related to me. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't related, related to me. They're not related. They're not related to me. The, 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 the South poor minds, but you know they in the family. They poor minds. See how far I lost the way. I damn sure do, y'all. <laughs> like that. So you ain't let me finish. Okay. You ain't let me finish. All right. Come on now. <laughs> See, Chico wasn't here the first time we recorded. This is a Section 8 hurricane. It is. Yeah, a Section well, 8 hurricane. Uh -huh. That's what we call it. Why we, do y'all call it that? Have y'all been on Section 8? Yeah. I mean, that's what it's called. It's a Capri Sun mixed with some grown folk shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's just, and then you take the straw and, like, you drinking it at a bar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. I ain't real real hey. I knew with the gum on the uh, rim, okay? She real hood, bro. She just act like she nothing. No, I definitely am hood, and I definitely act like it. Ooh. 2022. <laughs> Last year you was bougie and ratchet. I was. Uh, See? You know, I'm still a mixture. I'm a hybrid. There you go. I like that. Mm -hmm. You're a hybrid. Get the fuck out of here. These motherfuckers special, man. Okay. Make some noise for the lovely ladies of poor minds. Exactly. One time. We back. Clap for them. We back. Every time. I sit on this couch and I come on the show, I get nervous as fuck. Why? I just do like, okay. It's light ain't shit. I'll tell you this, like, Carlos will be like, man, you niggas need to step y'all game up, get y'all some money, and everybody be like, yeah, Carlos, you a real nigga. Mm -hmm. I'll say the same thing, I'll be like, yeah, you niggas need to step y'all game up, get you some money, and they be like, why'd you let the whore speak? Shut up, bitch. What? See? That's what you ain't me. <laughs> I'm a nigga. It's like, I can't it's say nothing. Like that. Yeah, we can't say We anything. can't say shit. Just say whatever you want to say. You know and we And the last time we was together, yeah, I just you got to address the fact that you and I went viral multiple, multiple times. Multiple times. We like keep that, going viral, you know what I mean? It keeps resurfacing. Yeah, keep resurfacing. And I think that's just because, you know, that the climate is, you know, it fits that narrative. It's a lot of people out yeah. here who fall in victim to being, you know, tricked out here. And I think that's the clip, but, yeah. you know, I never repeat posted it or nothing because it's a full clip. Yeah, the, it was, the whole conversation yeah. wasn't even yeah, like that. That's so why it's so weird. Wanna, you know, you know, y'all y'all family, so I ain't never want to make it seem like we was piling on. But, no, of course. But, you know, with that being said, has your perspective changed at all since that since that conversation? No. <laughs> well, the next time you go viral, I'm posting that shit. I just had to ask before. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? I feel the same way. You feel the same way? You know what I mean? Yeah, you feel the same way, you know what I mean? It was a there. great clip, though, you know? Yeah, it was, you know? You know what I mean? I what do you call it? Uh, they definitely thought that I she was she coming for me. No, not She be all. capping, though. Why do you think I be capping? Because you be trying to act like you just be treating niggas horrible. I really don't, though. I'm really, like, I, I be loving my niggas. I don't know that's What constitutes a nigga being your nigga? What is that? What, is, what, what constitutes a nigga being nigga? your nigga? What makes you be able to say, if when I'm do you claim ownership nigga? of said nigga? If I'm talking to you, you my nigga. Like talking? You know, like if we, you know, kicking it. You ain't gotta be my nigga, like, you know, by the textbook. Oh. Um, Just if we. What are some of the benefits around? of being your nigga? What you mean? What's the benefit of being my nigga? You know it's exactly me. what I mean, nigga. You know what benefits are? That's the benefit. Are? That's very vague. No, nah, that's vague. You're just, this is giving me. what do you bring to the table? No, it's we not. don't like that question. I ask what's the benefits of being your the nigga? <laughs> this the table right here. <laughs> Y'all brought y'all sales to it, so we might be ready to Y'all ain't bringing shit to the table. Thank you so much for asking! I'm not gonna trust me! You, you, I asked what's the benefits of being your nigga. No, you ain't asking me that. You asked her. I feel like that's a vague answer. <laughs> that's 
dancing, but you know, I'm not auditioning, so. I'm just saying. No, okay, so if, okay, so if a nigga, <laughs> if a nigga was doing an interview and they said, I, I'm not doing an interview. Not, I'm talking about one of your niggas. I'm not doing an interview for no niggas. I'm asking if a nigga that is your niggas. You don't listen. She's sassy. She can't ready to do that. She goes. one of the negative aspects of being her nigga. She's not going to listen to shit. She's not even letting me explain what the fuck I'm saying. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, talking about nigga. if a nigga that deals with you was to do an interview. I'm not saying you. <laughs> what do you think the things that he would say about the positive aspects of being with you? Mm. Like, what's the shit a nigga gonna miss if you cut him off? Everything. He ain't gonna, I'm, just, I'm a nigga. He not gonna miss everything. Yeah, he definitely ain't gonna miss you not listening. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> a nigga not finna miss everything, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got knock knock jokes for days. Don't look Let at me, me nigga. One. Nigga gonna Let miss him. Okay, I got a good one. So a nigga gonna miss this. Hell yeah! I bet. Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Move! <laughs> My nephew. Nigga gonna miss that shit. My five-year-old nephew would shit himself <laughs> right now. That. What just happened here? He would, he would literally too. shit on himself. That would have killed him. That's what I'm saying. Niggas gonna miss them jokes now. Well, we Not grown, even plenty, though. That's what I'm saying. We are grown. <laughs> Nigga ain't gonna miss that. So you telling me if a girl was getting interviewed, like he said, she's not gonna say, oh, I miss Carlos joking around. I don't even really say shit unless I'm on camera. Really? He is lying. Yeah, you be talking a lot. The lie. camera was just off for like an hour. I'm saying, like, in life, when I'm at home being somebody nigga, Ooh. I, it might be hours before I say anything. You be tweeting, though. All this goddamn comedy that comes from me, I'm not just out here talking. My conversation ain't got expensive. I don't even know that's for right. Free. Mm -mm. Might fuck around and say some good shit. Well, my no, shit, but... well, my conversation's still a little bit on the cheap side, so I can well, still I'm talk. I'm sure you would sit there and <laughs> talk a nigga to sleep. I do. I'm still waiting on you. But your no, honestly, I'm a great listener. On the contrary, <laughs> when I'm when I'm Why dating somebody, laughing? I really am. Yeah, like, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> okay, okay, you're I've great. Been told you're that a, before. You're, you're a great a nigga. Tell you anything before he fuck. That's, this that's was after he fucked. This was after he'll definitely tell you anything after he fuck. <laughs> Especially if that was if it was good enough to want to do it again. He's gonna be like, but I can't believe you just listened so good. He ain't even saying shit. He want you to know. I'm dead. I'm <laughs> you know, okay, so so give. Give me an example of, of how you've helped a man through a situation that you dealt with. That's the quality of a good listening woman. This is, I feel like I should have came with some like, notes. Yes, I feel like I'm being interviewed. This is why he's not asking you shit. Well, you already know you ain't even got shit. Like, I shouldn't for a male generic interview. Like, you can't even say nothing. Well, you already know you ain't got shit. I'm only asking you the question based off the statement you just made. My nigga, if you wouldn't have said that, I wouldn't be asking you about These are just the type of conversations people like to see y'all have. Why? Mm -hmm. Because y'all are a representation, y'all have a big fan base. Y'all mm -hmm. have people but, who, but who let subscribe me say, to your perspective. One thing that is a misconception of us, we don't represent anybody but ourselves. So I think a lot there of people do there get confused because they be like, oh, these bitches and this and that. I'm like, no, I'm speaking for myself. Yeah, that's why I said people subscribe to your perspective. That's all you can speak for is from yourself. So for the women that subscribe to your perspective who might not have figured out the things that you figured out, Moo interrupting Cal, you already did. I'm so already there. That, that was a great Me job. and my Cal going to find us a good nigga. Hey, let's, how do you help give them me get to that point? Your what advice you give opinions. them to get? Because you got to be comfortable to be able to do some shit like that in front of a camera. You got to be excellent. To tell, good, tell a fire joke? That was top tier. I, see what I'm saying? That level of confidence, that is built up <laughs> over time. That doesn't just come from. I'm like, what, it, what do you tell women to get to that point? Because it takes a, a, a special woman to be confident. But you know what? We actually had a conversation about this the other day. Like, honestly, I feel, I feel like. On the show. I'm not even going to lie to you. For a long time, I was really embarrassed of my personality. Like, I can see that. Because, shut the fuck up, <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, because people always, like, connect, you know, like black women with being loud and obnoxious and you this and that. You are loud as fuck. I am and is, but it's not a bad thing. Yeah. I'm doing what I want to do. I don't have to, I have financial freedom. I get to wake up and do whatever I want to do every morning because what of my you personality. What do you wake up? I went to Pilates today. <laughs> I don't know, that's right. a white woman. Why? Because. Oh. That's just what I did this morning. Oh. And when I left, I had a smoothie. Why? Because I felt like it. Because I can do that now. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You living like that. Mm -hmm. You see the big shoes? What 
what you told me earlier. Big, wow. big shoes, big money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. She hitting that bag. You can't, I told her she can't use that $3 joke no more. <laughs> but, no, what I was saying was, I feel like for a long time, like, I was always listening to what, like, social media this said what women should be. What should they be? You know. Quiet. Quiet. Sometimes. I literally, yeah, they. Sometimes. Do women even have a shut the fuck up button? No. It's just like, like you don't never just look around and be like, maybe I should shut the fuck up right now. Nah, Why I never feel it. That's never an emotion I have. Never? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good quality to have, though. Knowing when to shut I'm the kidding, fuck up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, yeah. You do, you do have to know when to be quiet sometimes, though. But I think that Lex is right. Like, society makes women feel like you have to be quiet. And you society should. has changed. Don't it even has. listen to that shit no more. I don't mean, we don't. don't. Do like Clearly, that. Do what the fuck you want. What, what is the thing you dislike the most out of what society says a woman is supposed to be? What's the shit that irk your nerves when you see, like, and not only irk your nerves, but irk you when you see women trying to do that shit? Like, what bothers you the most? Hmm. I think it's when women always feel like they have to agree with everything that men say. That's something that really irritates me that I see women do all the time. It's very, like, you know, pick me ish. What if they really so agree, though? Sometimes I think they might, but then sometimes I think that that's what they feel like they have to do to get a man or well, to get attention from you. You gotta leave. You gotta let people get their shit off. I let them. Like she might. But get, I don't like she might get all her niggas just agreeing uh -oh. in the comments, like being a pick me. <laughs> she get all her niggas like this. But, I don't, but the crazy thing is, a lot of them hoes be single. But so they clearly be, that's it not working either. They in a relationship. They get niggas. Everybody gets niggas. Niggas ain't hard to get. But what Points I'm saying, man. though, is <laughs> it's really hard to it's find nice. a spot no. to get the kind of shit that you want to get all the yeah. time. Like, if you if you done got four hoes at the comment section, and these the type of hoes that you like, you, you, you gonna, need to, you you need gonna to play the lottery. Yeah, that's what you need. You get what I'm saying? You need to play the lottery if your luck works some like that. Some niggas gonna get on Instagram every day and post three outfits, some money, and four or five cars, because that's how they get their hoes. Right. You can't yeah. knock the way somebody get their hoes. Yeah, it's, it's, but things are, I can't knock it, but we can't label it as corny. It is. Yeah, for you. How you get your hoes? <laughs> I just showed you. Nah, you want another knock-knock? Yeah, you mean Let's say the cow joke didn't work. Like, I ain't fucked with that. The cow joke, 100% every time. Boom. Boom. Give, me the next one. Give me the next one. Give me the one that's going to really just You just did it on, on that show. Now you can't use it no more. Nigga going to be I'm like, I heard that. that shit. Give me something else. <laughs> yeah. I'm not telling y'all no more knock-knock jokes. So you get your niggas telling jokes. I do. All right. I'm gonna crack a joke. How we you, don't like, cause, you get okay, let me be honest though, because you said what do women do like that society expects them to do. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit up here and say I'm the baddest bitch in the world, but when people look at my Instagram, you know, they see the titty, they see the ass, they see the waist missing. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times people like to put women that look a certain way in a box. Yeah. So yeah, when I do. meet niggas, a lot of times. I hate, put you in that I hate box. when you when you feel <laughs> when you following a badass chick and then you hear her talk and you be like, hell no. What kind of box is this? This is that box, this is that shipment. <laughs> <laughs> it's first class shipping right here. Not the, <laughs> that's, not that. that's true though. But no, you but be I'm saying like, so. She gonna be fine with a sexy ass voice and then she'll be And make then a I video feel sound like zero. Sounding like money bag yo and shit. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you do have some raspy voice. I mean we from Houston, so I do feel like when guys meet me, they're like, it's a pleasant surprise. I yeah. agree with that. Now, you like you, are you offended <laughs> that you get the type of that you you hit you strong to the bone, but if you met with the type of energy that your Instagram displays, like if, if let's say a man goes on your joint and sees you with the ass and the titties out and all that, and he, he greets you with that energy, are you offended by that? Uh, no. I'm not. Just because okay. I show a little ass. But I mean, I'm fine, though. Good. Even if I even if I had a turtleneck on, I'm going to still get approached like that. I'm a curvy woman. I can't hide this, yeah. no matter what I have on. Okay. I just think so niggas like, be mad disrespectful these days. But I feel like it's the same thing. Like, you know, like you said, men will post their money, post their cars yeah. and stuff. So if I approach them like, hey, I need my rent paid, That's why are you mad? Why you mad? I agree with that. You know what I I'm saying? I totally agree yeah. with that. I totally agree with that. It's just like a nigga being on the Instagram holding guns and all this type right. of shit. If I'm like, hey, man, I need a nigga shot. Like, Wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't shoot, right. nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> I just be posting. I just be on there. Like, I think that's, that's dope, big old saying. What you can ask me, knows how do I do it? How you get your hoes? I don't get I want everybody to answer I, that. I, I, I only like you like me. Like, I always say, you know me. You know I So don't that's how no, you get your hoes? I don't have no game. Like, bro, I've never, I can honestly say, I wrote two yes, no, maybe so letters in my life. That's the only time I've ever asked a woman to mess with me. Bro, you, really? you, 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 you,
Hold up, I didn't I'm know this. This is my real friend. I got to help him. You got to start trying then. No, I don't. <laughs> Bro, you done had all this fun just not trying. I'm telling you. I don't need to try. Listen to me. I'm not trying. Listen to That's me. That's who I am. You know me, Lowe's. We we left and right, Chico. bro. We be out. You oh, know I'm man. not. I'm not the nigga. I, listen, hey, I'm man. a gentleman. If I see you, and you can be stunned. Niggas been getting on me about this shit Chico, my whole life. Chico, wait a minute. Chico, like a woman to be Chico. just staring like niggas. Bean, say something to her. Chico, like, and you what's won't a say fucking that? good bank robbery really? without, without a good shootout? You say what? What's a good bank robbery without a good shootout? <laughs> a successful one, nigga. That's what the oh, fuck you mean? That's what a bank robbery without a shootout oh, is. A very oh, successful oh, one. No. <laughs> Rate, baby. Oh, fuck some success. Like you too. Like me. You too. You're in the comfort zone, yeah, then. Yeah, that's but you might like be missing say. out on a good woman. No, yeah. you're not. That's not How it. That's not, that, you're not, that's no, not it. Though. That's not it. You're not missing out on a good woman. You're missing out on some fun shit. I'm telling you, man, you gotta go out here and so you, you gotta you take your shot. So you gonna shoot your shot? Yeah, yeah. Uh, play the whole game. Yeah. I know yeah, that's that, right. That's, that's what he gonna do. He gonna shoot. Carlos and seem me. like a shoot your shot. He is shooting. I'm going. I didn't see him do I'm it. I'm going in that bitch. What's she doing? Yeah. That's what he's doing. I'm going in. That's what we like. We need the energy. Hey, well, man. So you like for women to approach you? Like, it's not that I like it. It's just it's what just, it is. I'm not going in. That's right. But no, for women. First of all, let me just say this. If I just settle for who liked me, I would be 700 pounds, nigga. I wouldn't know what fun is. I mean, well, hey, that's that's just the way it worked out for you. It ain't worked out for me that way. I've the seen way. the business who like you. I mean, it's a it's, yeah. bad, it's some baddies. Some motherfucking baddies. I'm talking about. I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about. They they know he ain't gonna respond. He don't get on social media. Yeah. They send me the shit. I'm like, girl, you get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> you blocking up the passage way for my home. <laughs> Tell Chico, I ain't telling Chico a motherfucking thing. And you know I ain't. But I believe it. I don't you know. That's a lot of things that the women say to us. Like, they be like, ooh, how, what's, what's it like being around Chico and Carla? They do be asking us. All the time. It's giving sex to Make them. sure you tell them. Hey, it's something about being around that nigga Carla. You just be wet the whole time. Okay, all right. I did, I'll stop pay the fee, but you, when they do ask, you tell them that. Enough is enough. Enough to stay wet the whole time. Right? That's what it's like. Stay to... wet the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's like That's to be around me. Right this is just wet, inner thigh, sticky. <sighs> nah, but you know, I have, I have a, I have a very good you know. perspective too, though. And that's another reason why I don't, I'm not approaching women, because women can become offended by my mentality. Bro, they like, get I'm excited not, that you're I'm, I'm not the nigga that's going to be in a relationship or be with one woman. I you don't be in a relationship? No. I, I'm very settled down, but I'm settled down I mean, down but you know what I mean, like, no, with a woman. The general consensus of what it, it means to be in love and love somebody, I don't believe in that shit at all. That don't apply to me. That's and what I'm telling you. You gonna find true. somebody who gonna believe all of this shit right there with you. You I just, mean, right. you a but, cold nigga. You ain't told a bitch to play? And yeah. she gonna be like, ooh, yeah, yeah I tell that's what we do. Whenever they, you know, approach me, but I'm not gonna be like, excuse me, sweetheart, how you doing? No, my name is Chico. Man. You wanna you be one of my yourself. bitches. This podcast is sponsored by Better Help and 85 South Show listeners. Get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash 85 south. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy DC on Fly. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp can assist you with achieving your goals and the happiness you deserve. The service is available for clients worldwide and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. That's right, in under 48 hours. It is not a crisis line, it's not a self-help. It's a professional counseling done securely online okay you'll get timely and thoughtful responses plus you can schedule weekly videos or a phone session so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy better help is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it easy and free to change counselors if needed so visit betterhelp.com 85 south that's better help and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge over their mental okay with the help of an experienced professional like, I'm not, I'll be like, I, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not the nigga that's going to do it. But, do that. but <laughs> I respect women enough not to bring on some shit that I know you're not used to. See, most women that's say they a, want to man. That's you contradicting so yourself. Because like, like, you can participate in it, but you wouldn't ask them to. No, 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 no. I'm not going to ask you to. You said you respect women enough to not be like, hey, want to be one of my bitches? But you allow me to be one of your bitches? If you want to yes. See, that's the thing. You got to be able to stand on that shit. You got to ask her to be your bitch then. Let her be your bitch. That's not the game. If I'm playing basketball, 
I'm not gonna ask you, do you want to come play with me? But if you come over here and say, can I play? Yeah. I'm gonna be like, here are the rules. You don't never have a team. That's I don't why have a team. I, mean, I, I fuck a team. I'm good. You know what I mean? And I don't it's like know this. That's right. Most women say they want a man to keep it 100 with them, but you ain't never had a nigga keep it 20 with you, so you don't know what that other 80% entail. So when I you like meet honesty, a, when you I meet a nigga that's really keeping it real with you, your natural reaction is gonna be like, what the fuck said, you just I, say, nigga? I was trying to count. He the, said the 20 and the 80. 80 and 20 is 100. Okay. I'm not a math person either, so <laughs> hey, move. We all on the same team. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I just, I just, I'm not the person that's gonna be. I don't know, I just different. I was raised different. I don't, I don't so, see things the way niggas see them. Like, I don't give a fuck about what nobody think about me. Like, look at my shit. This is what the... Now, see, the look, you know what happened last time. You made us... Look, you can't, you can't, see, you can't see, surprise see. But you gotta stop springing that on us like that, Man, Kiko. Who, you stop acting like you don't. That's the problem. Like, right shut up. No, you see, it's... you still, you will see some shit, know it's there, and still act like you ain't know when you see it. Oh, my God. Like, bitch, you surprised? <laughs> Again? This is no different than the last time I showed you. Friend. It look a little bit it different. Do, it, has, it looks like it done filled in a little Man, bit. I, it, it really do. You know what? I appreciate that. I swear. That's I'm... one of your qualities. You like good as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Because I know goddamn well this shit look exactly the same right here. No, it but you don't. look me dead in my face and said, it's filling in a little bit. I like that. I'm that's one of the better. That's one of the benefits. That is a good quality to have. Name that is your quality. You able to look a nigga in the face and, and make him feel lie. And make him feel good than a motherfucker. That is the best. She boosts confidence. The, all of I do feel like I'm good booster. at boosting. Right there. Mm -hmm. So you never been in love? Yes. When so when did you adopt? I love every woman that deal with. You know how special you you gotta be the fuck with a nigga who think like me. I know that. I right. love everybody who love me. You know so what I'm saying? Chico is his his whole mindset. He like every nigga think like him, but they, he, only after they done already fuck with you. This yeah. is this is this a nigga thoughts on the way out. Way. His shit just never went back to yeah. regular. So he gonna be he out there. So when did you start feeling this way? Like when did you adopt this? He was like six, I bet. No, it wasn't that early. I used to be full of shit like every other nigga. That man, and like I said, growing up, I never had a problem with getting women. Women have always liked me my mm -hmm. whole life. So I, I was, uh, you know, and I've always been able to, to, to be charming oh, and all that. So it really was like. Probably when I when I first got out here in the world and started to, to have to build my life as a man, yeah. I'm very self-reflective. I've always had to be very, I, don't, I wasn't raised in an environment where gray area existed. Nigga, this what it is, this what it ain't. Mm -hmm. So I always had to reflect on the reality of who I am. And once I did that, it was like, nigga, this is what I believe. This is what I want to do. This is how I see myself mm -hmm. being. And you only lie when you're afraid. I love myself. I wish I would have to pretend to be another type of nigga for a woman to like me. I'm just not your kind of nigga, and I want you to find them. And I'm not gonna stand in the way of you getting to that nigga. Mm -hmm. Nigga, that's, uh, that's the most commendable shit in the world. It is though, but honestly, uh -uh, because I'm telling you, I'm a nigga. It's part of my heart black. That's oh, why I don't respond to people DMs. Sometimes I'm just gonna jump in there and fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> find him when you find him, and until you find him. Yeah, I am. <laughs> nah, I, mean, I ain't got time for that. I, I find so we like transition dick. We talked about that the other day. I'm just not gonna transition make. I just don't like cool. the fact that that, that I make niggas. Some time. I don't. Feel, I wouldn't feel comfortable with a woman making me the, the source of her unhappiness, like because I'm dishonest or, or I'm they vague do that about. Anyway. I mean, but still, you can do that. But now I can not feel like I did anything wrong to you once you did it. You but just you know you ain't did shit wrong. That's the that's the best part about it. You as a nigga, you still gonna catch the same hell whether oh, no, you a I good nigga or a bad nigga. It, it's no you in can between. You can do all the shit right and you still gonna get treated like a nigga. That's very true. Because that's the society that we live in. We, they treat every like the worst you can be treated is like a nigga, right. like a black like male a black nigga. Male nigga yeah. Right, and that's, that's true. The, that's the worst treatment. So that's the condition that they put us in. So we already losing before we even play. Right, but the thing is, it's about value. I, I don't. I would never view myself as what a motherfucker see me as. No, what, whatever you see me as, that's your opinion, that's your right. Mm -hmm. But I'm a hell of a nigga. I'm one of oh, the greatest you niggas. One of the greatest, <laughs> one of the greatest you niggas that ever on the planet. So I'm going to walk in that reality. So regardless of whether or not you try to pretend like I'm not that, that's on you, bitch. Yeah. I'm at it. This how the but world, this how they see us, though. You ever seen, like, some kids playing? And then they playing tag, and the other little kid be like, nope, I'm playing baseball. We're like, OK, you out. Nope, I'm playing football. The game changed every time you think yeah. that you fucking playing the game. Right. But like, I can 
commend you for that because a lot of times I'm not a woman like I don't believe in what you believe in, and I'm what okay you with that. In? I don't. I feel Monogamy. like. Monogamy. Um, Tell the truth. No, I do think that it's crazy to think that a man is gonna be with one person for the rest of their life, and for women too. Some women as well. I don't think we a man will be with one woman. We're not built to be with. A man will be with one woman, but he gonna fuck a few more. I mean, right. Right. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, for you to approach a woman and, or a woman approach you and y'all start talking and you let her know what type of man you are, niggas don't do that. It'd be like six months later, you find out who a nigga really is. And then by this time, you already fell in love with who you think he is. And that's where shit gets fucked up. I think most men think like Chico, though. But they're not telling But they're not telling They just don't have multiple bitches and be sneaky about it. That's why I get mad at y'all, because y'all like y'all act like we ain't shit by ourselves. And it's really a two-way street. And y'all better at being not shit than we are. Oh, I know I ain't shit. Here's the thing that's fucked up. Here's the thing that's fucked up. Y'all will find out that a nigga ain't who we pretending to be and make him believe you still think that he is. Absolutely. Why would I tell you? You don't need to know everything I know. Oh, my God. You see what I'm saying? That's when shit becomes a game, though, because if you would have kept it real, not you, but if the nigga would have kept it real from day one, then we don't have to play games back and forth. But if now I know you play games, and that's now I got to play. Now we sit here playing Jenga, bitch. A nigga keep it real, but since they think it's so much more better niggas, they not gonna accept It's that always better truth. niggas. It's not. It's not. Always better niggas for what? There are niggas that's gonna do more of the shit that you want them to do, but I feel like ain't no better happy, niggas. Like, if you in a situation and you dealing with somebody and you not happy, it's always a better nigga that okay, you can be dealing so, Okay, with. so why when you get with this better nigga, you be missing this other nigga? Why would I be missing you though exactly. if I'm not happy? But it, <laughs> even, even if you even, if, even, if, even if you even if you get with a new go, nigga, you going back to the worst shit you ever had. I that's don't the, spend the block. That's how though. you learn how to spend the block. I don't spend the block. Even I if, only messed with one, a person once. That that's the same. Well, you in but that? I but I didn't spend you it. In there. But I didn't spend you, it. It, 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 it. It got spunt. <laughs> It, it did. It did. You let the worst nigga you fuck with come back one time? Come on. I did. Thank you. But I, thank I'm you. A but that's this, human this nature. You, you like said. the motherfucker who treats you a little bit fucked up. Oh, come on. Right, all right. I don't think that's what like it. That's big facts. Like it? The motherfucker that, that, that you're going back to is the motherfucker who treated you the worst. I don't, I don't agree. Well, I'm shit. Not, I'm not all there in the head. So if you let me come back thank in your you. life and I'm spending Thank you. You crazy too. Thank you. I agree with I that. Like a chaos. But here's the thing: you said it's a better nigga if you get if you're not happy. Now, don't you think that that's your fault that you're not happy? Because whatever foundation no. you starting with, you ain't building it on a foundation that's real. Because you constantly right. changing. Right. So that new and that's nigga why that, maybe I'm not the, happy no the more. New, Damn, new can't nobody make you happy. New shit that you this like. Comes from Absolutely. That Absolutely. nigga going not do the shit that you like too. But that's what I'm saying. You're right. Happiness does come from inside, and that might be the reason why I'm not happy with you anymore. Maybe I have outgrown. Don't say me, because they're gonna I, think it's really me. They <laughs> is, because they swear we be fucking y'all. Oh, for real. So, anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Because that was a weird face I yeah. made, and I don't know why I made that face. <laughs> so I'm going to be like, y'all seen that face? That face, yeah. man? Yeah, she got to go suck on those dicks. Tahir. Tahir, edit that shit out. <laughs> they don't edit shit on this part, yeah. <laughs> I know our shit's the same way. This shit is out there. It's out there. <laughs> man, <laughs> So that might be the reason why I'm not happy anymore because I've evolved, I've changed as a person, and I've outgrown the situation. Um, In so, a matter of months. Yeah, that can happen. <laughs> you should not be the you same person you are. I don't deal with somebody, and then three days later, I'm like, real you know life. what? I don't like this nigga no more. We know okay. that. So what, it can change that What made quickly. you like the nigga initially that could that change shit. in three days? What are you basing liking niggas on? Because Ooh, niggas That got like to be very vain for you to stop liking a nigga in three days. What the fuck are you basing your liking nigga? Ooh, you got toes and fingers? <laughs> I fuck with you. Like, it got to be vain. I'll be We were supposed to be on the same page. I ain't slugging you. You slugging me. Honest with you though, I do feel like I definitely have cut some people off, possibly for some vain reasons. Like I can't deal with a nigga with a black toe, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like. <laughs> well, that should go to let you know she ain't fucking with me. I just got my shit fixed up. My shit was goddamn. At least you got it fixed though. It's I, fixed now. I mean, but hey, for years it wasn't. But I wish a motherfucker would have been like, your toenail black. Well, you know how quick I find something you ain't never seen wrong with you. You try to talk about my deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> how does a toenail turn 
turn black. This is what I want to know. Men, we men, we we don't give a fuck about certain things. So why some of them don't Because a lot of us in some of our life like playing sports and they got sports stepped and on. And a lot of niggas, drop shit on them. Niggas specifically have been at least one time in their life boots. bought a pair of Jordans that wasn't their size because oh, that was the last one okay, they had. Okay, and that okay, made your okay. toenail bleed? Yeah, I mean, you ever tried to walk? You ever walk? You have some red bottoms before? Yeah. You ever walked in those for like a long period of time? Yeah. They, See how that was yeah. make your feet feel? Niggas push through Every that pain. Every day. Niggas, <laughs> th- niggas push right through that pain. Niggas be in that motherfucker feet knuckled up. Nigga. So you're saying but these niggas out here wearing heels? Yeah, these niggas out here that <laughs> put, got heels so saying some Jordan 13s. You wear 11. You got a nine you gotta and a half. Man. Man. You can be in the streets. Insoles out that bitch and everything, nigga. You know your feet fucked up. Your toe knuckles used to be bleeding. No, I ain't never did it too many times, oh. but I've done it enough times. Hey man, to know this would be the be perfect the time to stop oh. and tell Sorry, all the, the niggas. Shoes, if so you find a woman the, that accepts your feet, keep her, please. Yeah, please do. Keep her. So many niggas fuck with their socks. She gonna keep you, but not me. Keep her. I see niggas at the beach with socks on. Yeah. I I fucked the nigga in a shower with socks on. Okay. Yeah. Cause he That's must have heard you say this shit. I told you. Miss see my black toenail ain't gonna notice how big my dick oh, is. Oh, that nigga was missing a whole toe. <laughs> That's why he was in the shower. He was in the shower with socks on? Yes, and that's when I knew his feet was fucked up. But hey, you still let him fuck up. Fuck him in the shower. I did. That had already been fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you was about to lie. I did. God did. Yeah. I was already fucking him, though. He was my boyfriend. But this was when I was younger. I think that's when I had the revelation that I couldn't fuck with a nigga with a black toe. Neil. That's crazy, what, what's something you can't take on the nigga? I don't like, like a missing side tooth either. You, okay, missing side tooth, black toenail. Which one of yours? You know what? I can honestly say I don't have a type. If you look at all my niggas, they all look different. I don't have anything that's just like, oh my God, it's gross. Like, I'm a person, I like hygiene. So if I see a nigga and I'm like noticing like, he don't brush his teeth when we wake up in the morning or you don't wash your face or I, I come to your house, you ain't got no lotion. It be shit like that that turns me off. Okay. But there's nothing physically um, that turns me off, like specific, like You that. wouldn't talk to a nigga with a missing side. No, yeah, well, a missing side tooth, yeah, like that's something, obviously. But I feel like- Cause why you ain't clipped one in? Like, I mean- Yeah, a missing side tooth is Why you just walking around with a big ass gap right there? I don't, I don't like that. You don't care about nothing and that Honestly, scares me. Yeah, if I- I'm afraid. But I, if I was on the first date with a nigga and he was missing a side tooth, I would be like, where did it go? <laughs> Bro, wouldn't you be mad as fuck if you- all got them stop looking at me like that. The fuck is wrong with you? I got all my side teeth, nigga. I'm missing the front of my head, but all my teeth. Are I think I'd be mad as fuck if I got a bitch with side tooth and she cheated. <gasps> you didn't have enough confidence. That's man. one thing I might take back. Ooh, a tooth? I, I never took Ooh. nothing back from a woman, but if I buy you a tooth and you cheat on me, bitch, you giving me my tooth back. And then no. what you gonna nigga put under the next bitch pillow? No, no. When that motherfucker around my neck like a diamond. It's a tooth fairy. I'm gonna wear it around my neck like a diamond. Yeah, I had to take this back. No, I'd be mad as too. fuck, because you got <laughs> all this new confidence now. Niggas is childish. I had to take the tooth back. Y'all Anything not supposed to take gifts back. Oh, God. You're not supposed to take the tooth back. That's so much. corny. It's tacky. Yeah, that is gifts back. Yeah, that's corny. I'm going to go ahead and listen up. How are you going to get it back? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Well, you know what I mean? Like the tooth fairy get their teeth. Wait till you fall asleep. You going to tie that shit to the door now? Remember how you used to pistol fight? It's the Bitch, don't do it. Stop! Get my goddamn tooth. I don't really think that vain, though. Would you talk to a girl who's missing a tooth? What's some shit you can't take? Yeah, yeah, side tooth. I know a girl that's beautiful that's missing a side tooth. She just Why you didn't get her new tooth? Because she didn't have the responsibility. So she got an ass? Yes, that's You know I need it. I'm not going to fulfill some shit that you don't think need to be fulfilled. If you confident enough to walk around like that, I love your confidence. <laughs> but what do you know? I believe, I believe if she asked him to, he would fix it. I yeah. believe, but why would, do I have to ask? Because if you don't ask, that not mean you com- you're comfortable with it. That's like if if my toenail black and you see it and you say, I can't stand there. I'm like, well, bitch, so what? My other hoes do and I leave. That mean I'm comfortable with it. But if I'm like, yeah, me neither, what can I do? That mean you can help me. So if she was to ever express that she needed a side tooth or she felt like her side tooth made her feel insecure or uncomfortable, I'd be like, you know what? So she just be laughing. Let's, 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 let's Google teeth. Yeah, all this shit is y'all saying. I don't know let's what they Google teeth. Let's, let's Google this. What tooth is that? First of all, let's yeah, Google teeth. Yeah, which one is it? Let's Google teeth. Is that the molar? 
<laughs> All of these deal breakers are like three shots of liquor. You're going to be crying saying you missed that shit. I missed that. Toothless motherfucker. Side two. Missing ass. Black Tony Avenue. <laughs> She had this mole on her back. And the funny thing is, I don't, I got bamboozled. Remember I talked to that nigga and I didn't know he was missing us? How did he hide that from me? He oh. you on the other side? I told you how he was that laughing on the show. Like the joke, I like told you like he was like, he was going like this. Going uh, like this. Uh, 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 yeah. Damn. Yeah. But see, yeah. I like to think I'm a pretty funny bitch, so I made that nigga laugh real hard one time, and then that's when I seen the tooth was missing. That's what, that's how you get to see it, ladies. You gotta make the nigga laugh hard. He gonna be like, You gotta Fuck. tell that fucking cow. You gotta tell that fucking knock knock. <laughs> He gonna forget to do this, cause it's gonna be so funny. He gonna cover it. See if a motherfucker, I mean, he normally do a they keep doing this. I'm gonna think they breath stink. It might be that. Now that's something I can't take. That I boy. Agree. I agree. Whoa! That's a deal. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes you leave the club, you take too many shots of Hennessy, she start getting rough. Nah, nah. I'm talking about like in, in like the middle the of the day. Okay, okay. You that's know what I mean? That is rough, <laughs> man. I can't take no funky breath. I'm talking about the ones that. Funky like, baby, did you eat your lipstick? Like, why are you? <laughs> Whoa! No, I'll never forget. When I was in college, one of my friends, she was fucking with this Kappa nigga. He was like one of the finest dudes at the school. Everybody and like, went to school with you gonna be like, ooh. She kissed <laughs> She had kissed him. And like she literally had to go home and like scrub her lip because she said like it was lingering. Like oh. the smell was lingering that's on her lip. That's, that's how that's, bad that's, it was. Uh, that's, um, you nigga need a liver transplant. <laughs> Me and my dentist were just talking about the, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a scientific term for the uh, uh, periodontal disease. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. Right. smart, bitch. Yeah, you got that periodontal. No, no, you got to get, get what's called the deep scale cleaning, baby. That don't stop letting that nigga buy you them Chanel purses. Make yeah. that nigga take you to the dentist and yeah, get you a deep scale love. cleaning. But I, I don't agree with that. Because we love to get the gifts. We love the things. But honestly, we if together. you need to go to the dentist, stop yeah. asking men for the bags and the shoes. Like, get your finances in order. Like, if a man give you money, pay get off your, your life credit. In order. Get your life in order. Because I'm not going to lie, I used to be in debt like a motherfucker. But every time I was de I was dealing with a guy, every time he gave me money or did something for me, I was paying off my credit card Same. bill. You still my student loan. I am debt free. I love a goddamn success. I am debt free. Officially. You ain't never had no student loans? Nothing. I, zero. I still have a smidget of student loans. A smidget? A smidget. I posted on my close friends the other day. But good luck. I literally have no debt. Zero debt. That's zero. a blessing. That's zero. a blessing. Right there. That's Car a blessing. Paid off See, that's the thing. With me, with women that I deal with. What up, though? What's, what's up? up? What's up, my nigga? What's up, my nigga? Hey, what's up? It's Clayton English. Tired of dealing with the hassle of traditional banks with all their extra fees, long lines, and an app that's really pointless? then check out Current. Current is the new way to money. Spend, save, and manage your money better with the Current app and debit card. Earn points on every swipe, redeemable for cashback rewards, and faster direct deposit up to two days early. And for a limited time, we've partnered with Current to give away $1,000. That's right, Current is going to give away $250 to four listeners of our show. All you have to do is download the Current app at current.com backslash 85 south or enter our code 85 south during sign up for a chance to win. Download the app, check out the new interest feature, and enter code 85 south for a chance to win. Members can seamlessly transfer money between savings pods and their spending balance. There are no fees for this feature or balance minimum requirements to access. Any member who signs up for current personal account can start earning interest daily by adding money to their savings pod and enabling the interest feature. Remember, that's 85 South during sign up. Winners will be awarded soon, so don't wait. No purchase is necessary to win. Purchase won't increase chances of winning. Void where prohibited. Eligibility restrictions apply. Visit current.com backslash 85 South for full terms and conditions. Current is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by and Visa. Debit card issued by Choice Financial Group member FDIC pursuant to a license from Visa USA Inc. and can be used everywhere. Visa debit cards are accepted. Come on, Marvin. Come on. Come on, Hawkeye. Oh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm almost there. <laughs> but I, not I, that I, <laughs> a lot of what a lot of what I do with women that I deal with comes from my own upbringing. Like I wish my mother had a nigga like me in her life when I was growing up because it would have oh, helped right. us a whole lot. You know you? what I'm saying? Like, if she'd have had a nigga that I'm not gonna come to your house and see your son on an Xbox 360 and be comfortable seeing that nigga keep playing them games with them fucked up graphics, knowing that it's some Xbox One and the PS5 out here. I'm a fucking <laughs> That's a real shit. 
No, because I wish the nigga learn. back in the day. He need to learn. No, I mean he done learned enough. This nigga done had this motherfucker since it came out. Yeah. But I didn't. I remember when niggas beat used all to the call. game. Did you beat all the game? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Did you beat it? No. <laughs> you still ain't beat it. Keep it up. You don't. You don't need no upgrade. No. Nah, I'm what you got. Cause I wish a nigga would have did certain things for my mama growing up. I wish What's a nigga would have helped out. Oh, yeah. I was a dog on this one. I was a dog on this one, right? Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Y'all trash. Like yeah. Unstoppable. Yeah, man. Well, come back. Okay. Well, yeah, help me. Watch this. Like, I oh, remember when the PlayStation was out and I still had a Sega Genesis and niggas was just coming over there to fuck with my mama, seeing me play Sonic, and knowing that goddamn you. Crash Bandicoot was out. Man. Oh, you no, Crash Bandicoot was fine. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't have it. And no nigga was helping my mama help me get it. I had to get out there in the streets on my own and get my shit. That's how you was like, I'm gonna become that nigga. I'm gonna become the nigga I wish my mama could have. You like, what well, exactly. You know what I mean? It, it nah, is though, what... because a lot of young black, you know, kids don't have a positive, you know, influence. So even if you just get in the box, you that's know, you can be nice either. to them. That's nigga. not all the way true. It is true though. Well, motherfuckers don't want the positive influence in front of them. What, what you mean? Because the nigga be positive, but it don't be glamorous. What? Like... This nigga a janitor. This nigga a trash man. <laughs> Niggas don't want that. They not listening to him. Not as facts. They but... not listening to him. And their mama ain't helping because their mama was like, you, you got to stop like judging him. people what you think they do. Right. Right. Because a nigga might be a got. garbage man, but this nigga might not touch no garbage. He don't touch the trash. He, pulled, n- the, he pulled the thing. Nah, but what he he that nigga might not this even get on the truck. Them. That nigga down there putting the information in the computer. Right. He routing the truck. That nigga's a garbage engineer. A garbage engineer. I know that's right. But there's nothing wrong with being a garbage man. I feel like you know people, as long as you're making an honest living. But not only that, what you do for a living has nothing to do with with your character as a person. I said nothing is wrong with being. We were talking about kids. I said kids don't listen to their positive influence. I'm not saying that I'm... Garbage men, great motherfucker. They are. We need them. But see, it's like, it's so many jobs that ain't nobody ever told you that they had. Would you fuck with a garbage man? I just said I wouldn't. You wouldn't? I would not. Okay, well, check this out. Think of all the jobs that you have. Because just that's just his his job. You know, some garbage men out here that make up with a two, three. Would you fuck a woman who drove the garbage truck? Yeah. They drive the truck. Hell yeah, I fuck with a bitch who drove the garbage truck. You saying that now, now? I just had the show a couple weeks ago at the start off. The lady told me she made the most money in the room. I said, which, I said, where the single lady said, who make the most money? And the lady said, I do. I said, what you do? Driving forklift. And I was like, ain't nobody even gonna challenge this. <laughs> Y'all about to let me leave with this strong ass lady. Yeah. <laughs> she was gonna, she was gonna you leave gonna be with surprised you. when you see how sexy some motherfuckers how? be with certain jobs. Who, who? They're making two hundred thousand dollars. Some, it's you some have, trash man. It's some have, trash men that make that kind of money. No, they, they are. They, they are. There are. Yes, it's some trash men. And, and you people. working for the city? They, honestly, you make a we million. know, some, we know somebody that does garbage, but he makes six figures. We brain. know somebody. Your earring in your brain. Again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole not like me. But what if you had a you chick and you didn't know what her job was? <laughs> Fucking garbage, man. He'd be like, wait, what you do? And she, she took like, a long, me off my... she, go, she took a long time okay. to tell you. And then you find out that they use her pussy to make them fake pussies they sell oh, at the store. Oh, she is her. ground zero. <laughs> I'm fucking with her, bro. So you you mean to tell me I got city, the moon? Right? I'm fucking with the moon, nigga? Oh, we gonna make a killing. Oh, so, so you're working for the city, right? You working for the city? But, to figure out if you making that kind of money, you still driving the truck. I mean, if they pay you, if that's what they pay you, let me you ask y'all this. What does what a man make got to do with you? It don't. So why does it matter what he makes? It's still it do matter, matter, though. <laughs> why? What do you mean? Does it don't matter? <laughs> See, it don't No, it don't got to do with me, but it matters. Well, I'll say this. I don't care. <laughs> ambitious person and I have goals and I want somebody that can at least match what I'm doing and what I have going on. So I'm not saying you gotta be worth 50 million dollars to fuck with me, but yeah. so you said was at one point I was broken, I didn't have nothing, but I had ambition and right. I was striving to do better. So if you have a job and you making twenty thousand dollars a year, but are you trying to do better? Are you trying to do more? And is it like something that's like realistic? What like, if you, you know met your saying? soulmate and they was like the manager no. of Taco Bell. You not my I'm talking about your st- my- You don't even know nothing about this yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Y'all done went All out right. a few and nights, I'm not know kicked it. Y'all me. ain't even, you done had so much fun, y'all don't even talk about this shit. Okay. And then you but happen to go to Taco Bell. You go to Taco Bell one night. And that nigga in the house. You walk up to him. I, I do not know. Come on, come on. I don't, I don't believe that God <laughs> made my soulmate a man. Come on. No, because this is what niggas do. I don't believe it. Y'all create scenarios. But this I don't is what even I'm know what Taco Bell. This nigga be everywhere. Oh, he ain't got to do that. Being a manager, that nigga 
ain't going to Miami for spring break. <laughs> that nigga got a section. He doing it big. That nigga standing right beside Wiz and taking pictures all night. Why you taking pictures of Lil Wayne? We create scenarios that'll never happen. Y'all create scenarios that always happen because y'all are in control of the situation. So you get, so you mean to tell me this is what I'm saying? This is what I don't understand about women when it comes to shit like that. You say God wouldn't make your soulmate he a nigga that make twenty thousand dollars a year. He loves me too much. But also, but also, he oh. might not be done being who he is. Exactly. I might have been twenty thousand a year till I got to where twenty thousand was one check. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. But, but you can be somebody and know that though. But here's the thing I that know. I don't understand about. I mean, but you can. I, I, I have a point in life where I was making twenty thousand a year. You expect a man I mean, to have, have some money, ambition, be able to make you feel safe, be able to fight, be able to tell you jokes, make you laugh, be and then have to the, the, be able to fuck <laughs> on top of that, yep. and then have the audacity for that nigga to only fuck with you. So, like, but it's the same. Y'all expect the same I'm thing out of us. Y'all want us to be need me. fine, like, I small am... ways, big tits, fat ass, uh, got a good job, and all this. Y'all want to be so crappy. We got to clean, and then you expect us to be the only thing you suck at? Uh, but, but that, listen, what? I respect I just, that. Oh, wait, I respect that. Wait, 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 you, you said that way okay. wrong. I just, I, you said that too all the way okay. wrong. My bad. My bad. You, Bring it back. Whoa. What? What did she say? Y'all didn't hear her? You yeah. said the only dick she sucked. Oh, you trying to She didn't it. say that. She yeah. didn't say the only dick she sucked. She said that's the only dick you sucked. Whoa. No. That's, I see, not, that's why I said. I did not mean that. I'm saying that for a woman. I wasn't saying. But the I was thing is, for, I, you I, miss it. You me. said that's that not what I'm But the thing is, we can't. Can't make twenty thousand, but he can suck his own dick. And that's if you can suck your own dick, you're too talented to make twenty thousand. <laughs> you need to make your own lane. You need to use your brain. Where are we supposed to go with this talent? Right. So only then. Oh my god. Hey, if you can suck your own dick, I guess if you can, suck you your can make twenty thousand a month. That's wild. You have potential. No, stop, stop. Let what are you doing? You. I'm trying. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Uh, Let me mold you. But the thing uh, is, a nigga not going, a nigga don't have the opportunity to come up and just state this. Like, niggas ain't on they Kevin Samuel shit out here. I'm a high value man, bitch. Can you cook? Can you do all this? Did That's not how it happened. Y'all set the standard. Y'all set the tone. It's not until a man get to a point where he, unless he just a hell of a nigga from the gate, that he can establish, like, look, if you can't cook, if you can't suck dick this way, if you can't fuck this good, then I ain't fucking with you. And then be the niggas that got women that's lined up to fuck yeah. with them based on what they have. Yeah. So it don't work that way. It's always the nigga that got to come and be the auditioner. Y'all got the audition table in front of your pussy, and I got to show up. Hello, my name is hey, Anthony dude. Bean, Absolutely. and I'm here to audition for a role in that pussy. And you might get the well, job. Tell me what your qualities are. Well, uh. But that's uh, because you're coming at us. We're not you used to being usually. Is. But if you slide into my DMs, yeah, you better audition. Yeah, you, you better gotta tell audition. me. That's the game. What are your you qualifications? Yeah, that's the game. That's Niggas the game. Oh, so y'all been trying to get y'all get back from the whole little casting couch era. <laughs> so now y'all want to cast and couch a nigga. That's what it is. Yeah. Y'all be, the be in there with, with little skirts on and cross your legs slow, like have a seat next to me. Exactly. I so, like are that you familiar anyway. with the kind of work that I do? <laughs> what kind of work is that? Do you look outside? See that Range Rover out there? Yeah, that's paid for. And it is. <laughs> See, look, courtesy of some African prince. He was that not African. Never been to America. <laughs> he was not African. He's fucking up somebody else's social security numbers. And you, you no. say he's a, he no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, now we get a little too. <laughs> you know, not even warmer. Hey, we See, all been the audition. Was African, but he was scamming, he with, was them scamming with them niggas. He was scamming with them niggas, right? <laughs> we all been niggas. the auditions. The nigga come out, he already got the little paper rolled up in his hand. Yes! I got that motherfucker, man. Yeah, hell good yeah. luck, bro. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, man. Good luck, man. Yeah, good luck. You walk out and see the other nigga that's auditioning, and you like, I ain't got a shot. This nigga's 6'7". Then the type of bitches in the nigga she like. I am dead. I'm like, 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 God damn. 
Yeah, you got sandals on to show his toes ain't black. Like, boy. I'm Bro, not everybody fucking at the audition. I'm not fucking a nigga that wears sandals. Slim Thug, you don't even like that. <laughs> no, that's how real auditions be. Sometimes yeah. you see all a motherfucker, you like, oh, man. But we talking about niggas that wear sandals. You know you ever get Right. Oh, you know man. man. No, but you said you like when women hit on you, and that's you how it's not that I like it's just the way it is. But right, you know the I mean? way it is. So yeah. when a woman hits on you, you don't kind of like make them audition and let no, them know like it's no need for auditioning because I look at it like this. Men's gonna make men, it sound like you're men, 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 me, men that's are all. That's what I'm saying. No, men are all professors, and when you take y'all have been to college. All of Yes. That's a debate. Some, yes, we all professors. Some are better than others. Some are greater than others. Some are horrible. But the job of your professor, if you took college courses, the first thing you do, the first week of class is what? You laying out the syllabus. Mm-hmm. You going over the syllabus. So you have a choice as to whether or not this is a class you want to stay in before the drop period. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm doing. The moment a woman say anything to me or act like she got any interest, here's the syllabus. This is what I'm this being. class entails. This is this, this is that, this is this. This is some shit you can fuck with? Okay, cool. Now you can stay. But you know, now you can so, yeah, but whoever you likes the class. syllabus, they get a pass. You say what? Anybody can like uh, agree with the syllabus. Like if you agree with the syllabus, you get an automatic pass. Cause that's what it sounds like. It depends on the person. You gotta, no, gotta to execute. You gotta execute. You can't just fail the course. Like that's wasting my goddamn. But how time. do you know if they're gonna execute? You have to give them a chance to see if they're gonna execute. No, you, right? once you read this shit, like you know how some people say, you ain't never gotta do no quizzes, right? My class is the first day you come in. You ain't got the book. You gotta ask. But that's already. an audition, man. <laughs> Audition. You already failed. But that's, that's an audition. It's not an audition. It is. You have choice. And bitches and that's you a doing requirement. That's a choice. That's a requirement. I, I, I wish I would answer a pop quiz. I don't know. I think I, I think I like the audition better. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to these hoes like Prince. <laughs> Write your number down. <laughs> I'm by around four. <laughs> I can see if we have a space for you. <laughs> So I'm just, just like that. that and you a light skin nigga too, so you get away with it. If you perm your shit, nigga, you really might be <laughs> like Prince. You this, this you nigga, cr- nigga Chris show up like this. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. No, I don't. If, 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 what if, did you just tell that man he needed? Now, see, this, chap. this is why we in trouble. First thing I'm going to tell you is, if a nigga got a pair of those, it's not because he a Prince fan. Y'all wouldn't wear, so you wouldn't wear ass and chaps for your beach, don't No. I feel like y'all lying. And my bitch would not ask that of me. Right. has been uh, infiltrated. She is a clone. <laughs> this bitch is working for the government. We talked about this uh, on the ceiling. That's, 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 that's on the ceiling. That's on the ceiling. Exactly. That's the point of it right there, Lo. You, you ever asked me to wear any assless pants <laughs> whatsoever? <laughs> Matter of fact, in this relationship, I don't even have an ass. <laughs> Leave my ass out of this Hey, for one ass in this whole outfit, and she got it. So you mean to tell me you'll fuck with a nigga that said, look, baby, hey, baby. <laughs> the buns and the clothes. I would love that. Oh my god! That was, you done did that before. Oh, no, I, I did. Yeah, that. I done did that before. When I pulled my dick out, I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's from the front. It's <laughs> never. It's never from the back. I don't want none if you ain't got buns. <laughs> See, y'all the type of, <laughs> y'all the type of one that'll try to hit a nigga with a deal, though, no, some shit like that. Face, you just, that face, that was like the face with Carlos. Why you make that face? You just I was just saying, I'm dead. Don't ask her that's no shit judging. like that. That's judging. I have never I have never done it. I just said that was judging. What you do? You didn't talk, bruh. I would. I would. I said this on our show before. I, I absolutely would. It's would. called pegging. That's what it's called. And I would try it. And I cut it off. A little bit. Well, you, were, you weren't intrigued. Not at all. <laughs> so you gonna stop trying stop. people like that. I'm gonna start what? You gonna stop trying I'm people just, like that. First of all, men need to understand not men. anything not men. that you do with no. a woman is not considered gay. You can't do anything Listen. with a straight woman and you're a straight man. Nothing is gay. First, and then second of all, <laughs> men <laughs> were proven. Men have, you have a G spot. I'm a woman. There is a, <laughs> there is a G spot in your and you know what? Man, that's, that's so fucked up. That I'm never gonna find. That's so fucked up. You know how many nuts I've busted in my life without ever having But you know how much stimulate? better of a nut you would bust? Listen, you know, let, let me tell you something. I didn't even I'm know good. that I was. I mean, well, see, that, that I was handicapped, handicapped until surgery. you said that. No, 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 no. Now I know what I was born with. Yeah, you know he's born out of G spot. Did you read the syllabus? It's straight in this bitch. I read the syllabus. Out of 
do shit outside the lab. Yeah. Like I the it's pretty quick. I'm good. You it ain't heard? one. It ain't but one G spot in this relationship. Yeah, exactly. And she got it. Yeah, that ain't that's no a lot. You got one too? No, I don't. It's no, two it's right under the base of my penis. So you mean to tell me if you met a man and he told you he liked that, you wouldn't? That wouldn't raise no eyebrows um, at all? It may raise a little eyebrow. Which one? I'm not gonna judge him though. Let I'm me like, see. <laughs> That's the face. I mean, you do that, you look like you from Whoville. <laughs> <laughs> she turned into the Grinch. That's how excited she gets. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all oh, crazy as hell. I don't think. Look, I think that that's the problem. Man, that's ain't nobody. Problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> that's ain't nobody about to fit all these goddamn the requirements, man. You that's what? what's wrong. Ain't like, I don't feel like I agree with like, nothing that you do with a woman makes you gay. We all out here fucking with people who don't meet half of these goddamn requirements. I agree. It's the act of doing it with a man. All right, now I mean, let's talk about all the people who can get away with shit. Because we all done fucked around with somebody who didn't didn't fit none of our standards. Oh, my God, we just talked about this yesterday. Yeah, everybody we ain't literally doing, just talked about this. Everybody ain't doing all this shit. Right. We done all goddamn let, the, let a few months. But that's what we call Come transitional dick. Hey, we ain't even supposed to be wearing our shorts in this motherfucker. Come on in. Nobody wants to don't mean a goddamn thing tonight. Nobody wants to be alone. I don't care what nobody says. Nobody is okay with spending yeah. seven days a week by themselves, 24 seven. Hell yeah, because yeah. your private yeah. parts can start to recognize your hand. Exactly. Mine be like, oh, <laughs> hell, hit this bitch go, hit this bitch go, oh, brother. Oh, she be tired of that shit. After you about the you be the <laughs> So you just hand it? You just no, hand no, it? I, I I have toys. Well, yeah, I feel like my toys be tired. Some people too. embrace loneliness, though. Like, loneliness don't scare everybody. Some but it's a ba- you need a balance, though. Because yeah, but you can't let are... that be the thing that make you... I'm make not saying to make you happy. On, ...on how you pick them up. You done fucked nah. a few people you ain't. You shouldn't have fucked. I fucked a lot of people I shouldn't have fucked. <laughs> that's not what we talking about. I have no problem with admitting I have had some... And that's the thing about me. I stand on it. If a motherfucker I fucked with that I and got some hair from too. that I... Nigga, they be like, her? Yeah, nigga. Let me explain the night, though. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> <laughs> All was lost in the land. <laughs> and then came a hand. You remember that? <laughs> the girl was going in. Is it a right here? Like, 2012, the end of my Yeah, dude. Right? We all did that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but give me one. That's the thing, like. As a man, we got to fuck the standard, though. I get, I take it like y'all are uh, a little bit better, you know, take a little bit better care of your pussies than we take care of our dicks. Cause what? We, they do. They, he we, said, not me, nigga. I mean, now, <laughs> now, me. I mean, every man should get to a point where they treat their dick like they social security now. <laughs> I treat my dick like my social now. It's like, you just can't get this month. You can fuck my life up, you get right. this bitch. Why didn't you always treat it like because that? Because I'm a nigga. And I do nigga shit. And some, from time to time, I still do nigga shit. Do you do and nigga shit? And I would shit? never, ever let any woman believe that I'm not capable of doing nigga shit, because that's what niggas do. I'm just not driven by nigga shit no I more. I told a story recently, and it blew my mind. Tell it. I'm about Uh-oh, to. I'm scared. I don't, so me? I was talking to these dudes, because I, I want to know if one of y'all done did this shit before. OK. So I was talking to this dude, and he was telling me how he fucked a bitch, a pregnant girl. I've that, never and it done wasn't it. his baby though. I would never done the kid, it. The I kid would. was not his son. I would. I've never done it. I would. You would? Yeah, I would. And then to top it off, it was a threesome. <gasps> How far along was she? Now, I don't know how she was showing. Threesome with another man? Was it a train no, or a threesome? No, 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 no. A no, train and a threesome is the same thing. A train she says that all the time. A threesome, and I said and a threesome, a threesome is, is a threesome. If it's no, three people in the bed, it's, no, it's a not. threesome. It's not. Y'all are so ridiculous. Men are so afraid of words. It's crazy. It's a train. A no, 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 no. Men just actually use the words as they was intended to be used. If I'm sucking somebody's dick and they're hitting me from the back, it's a threesome. We're no, all engaged train. in a sexual that's activity. A train. It's a threesome. That's a it's train. Three and I you said have this when we talked about it. You gotta be fair. You gotta be fair. That's a train. You, you know gotta be I mean? fair. <laughs> that is the girl version of a threesome. Wait. A girl like version of a threesome is a threesome. Like if a woman wanted to have sex. No, a girl version of a threesome right. is with another woman. Right. No, it's not. With two men. Well, they don't want a threesome. They want to get spit roasted. <laughs> they want to be a Hawaiian hog that is about to be put into the ground. I feel she like that's like, like, like her mouth and the baby. <laughs> yeah, slow turning. I've never desired. Not gonna lie, I never desired two dicks at the 
think they want you. I haven't train either. Train I haven't Me? either. Have you ever had a train Me? ran on you? No. Yeah. 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 The fact that she's asking like, oh, yeah. 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 Threesome, in my opinion, of what a threesome is, which I said I feel like it's two women. And yeah, a I mean, I've had a threesome, but no, I've never had sex with two men. Have you ever had I've sex had with two men? I've had a threesome men? with two women okay. and a man, but I've never had a threesome with two men and just me. So, so why are you no. yelling at shit? What's the difference? Huh? What's the difference? If it's not a difference, then why do you say it? Because it's a, it's a threesome. It's not a train. I feel like men like to use the word train because they feel like, oh, we so not touching each other. We degrade. It's a rock for No, it's no. Anytime, make like... anytime you get naked with another dude, it's you a threesome. on some weird shit. Exactly. Oh God, and it's yeah, a threesome. Bro. Anytime you get butt naked with another man, any like... It's a threesome. No, I feel no. like you wild as fuck for pulling your dick out in front of another nigga. I judge. I try not to judge. We don't kink shame, but at the same time, it's like it is what it is. It's you know what? Three people in the room having an orgasm. You know what? That's, hey, man. You don't want to be the nigga to get naked too See, bad. y'all. When, when you gonna take your clothes off? What the fuck are you doing? Unless you're in the locker room, why are your dicks out? Mm -hmm. Hey, man. I mean, hey. You I, gotta leave I, these I, whole fucking graphics alone because day, now so. it's so many I, different I, I, kinds of people. Nigga, I, we boy. We, I, you don't know. Nigga, it's nine different kinds of people. Y'all ain't even invited to this shit yet. Niggas it's, know it. We all, y'all said y'all don't fuck with males early. Gashy. Nigga, it's all about, the states are matter. Liquid. <laughs> nigga, it's about okay. solid. Okay. It's about 75 Liquid man. Liquid is all the gashes. Gashy. 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 Y'all arguing about man and woman. And nigga, it's about 75 more motherfuckers out here. I they ain't saying nothing about. I they gonna be in the comments. What about men with titties? Hey, hey, hey. What happened? Not an FWT. No, no, no. I'm, a, I'm just a man. An FWT. Not an FWT. I'm telling you, it's two, it's, it's two minutes three seconds right now. You already know suffering from gyno capacity. <laughs> 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 I didn't even know the scientific term for that shit. They do it on the commercial. I <laughs> hate it here. I'm telling you. No, so y'all. She's <laughs> not the only person that answered my question. What's that? <laughs> he said he would have sex with a pregnant lady. Would you have a threesome if she's showing? It, with a with a with with another a woman, yeah. yeah, yeah. With a pregnant woman, yeah. That's not I, your baby. I, I would, yeah, I would. So you, you would. So I how would. would you feel? You, if you had a lady who is pregnant and it's not your baby. Uh -uh. So how would you feel if you had a girl what pregnant you, like, and she was letting uh, another nigga you? nut on your baby forehead? That, that is too. Would you? That is too. What? First of all, that's what that's what and it's not not gonna be. Oh, he gonna let it. Now, mind you, if that was to happen, if that was to happen, Mama. Then, then as my son or daughter gets older, if she was to ever ask daddy, I'd be having these dreams. <laughs> Then I would explain. That wasn't me. That was your mama out here doing what your mama did. Wow. But, uh, you you wouldn't be mad, though. What the fuck? If First I, of all, if, if I got a woman pregnant and she out here fucking other niggas, how can I be mad? That's her pussy. Okay. It's that's our real. baby, but that's, that's her pussy. You wouldn't be mad. Like, you what the fuck? I'm not mad at nothing no woman do with her pussy. It's yours. That's the real shit. That would you be mad? Me? What? If you're pregnant, like, partner, y'all exes now, but she was out here fucking somebody else while she was pregnant with your child. What's going to make me think that she's not doing that anyway? Mm -hmm. That's, my That's the thing about it. You don't I have to. Be, I don't no, see listen. myself being pregnant. You can be living either. with a motherfucker. If like, they're going to fuck off, they're going to fuck off whether she's pregnant or not. Right. Why you, you don't have These conditions don't no change do shit. They, people get married, people be pregnant. They fucking going to be. I happy. know that it couldn't happen, but I would be too scared it might hit my baby head or something. No. That's, That's not that, how it that, works. That's not how supposedly. it works. I know. That's what the I, I, I just will not hit you. He going to be like, mama. He going to have a dick. The pussy downstairs. The baby upstairs. Yeah. Why y'all trying Pat to give us a uh, school Project on Pat anatomy? No, no, we not working. Has a line that I'm living out the projector. God's so smart, he put a whole nother pocket in there. The pussy still be working the shit. Project Pussy Pat said party. some shit that was real. He said, you know go get your Project Pat. <laughs> He said, go and get your fuck on, because that pussy. don't phase right, stop. That's enough. Lame <laughs> niggas let that there drive them crazy. That's real. I don't give a fuck about what a, who a woman, as long as whoever you fucking don't bring me no problems, fuck on. 
I don't give a I, fuck. I like that. That's gonna be yeah. my new model. Fuck on. Fuck on. As long as it don't bring like me no problem, because my main concern is when I come around, is you still fucking me? Do you still want to do that? The fuck do I care about what you do when I'm not around? I'm not a wizard. I don't care about what I can't control. <laughs> what? 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 Harry Potter? Because that's what you, like, you can see things you not. Oh, wait a minute. I feel it. Is this bitch enjoying it's another nigga? That's so I'm gonna tell you what, if you feel it, that's so it is already spread. <laughs> exactly. The bro. only way you can prevent it is if you have a time machine, because ain't nobody ever stopped nothing right. from not like. I wish I had a time machine. <laughs> what the? I I wish I had a time machine that's gonna be you, my nigga. I know. And then you watch all these Marvel movies, even the superheroes can't get the woman they want. Spider-Man done saved the bitch off a <laughs> hundred and fifty fucking skyscrapers. He done flew a motherfucker all the way from That's his bitch. Mary Jane is his bitch. Nigga, what Superman the took a bitch to outer space. <laughs> he flew the bitch literally around the world. If a nigga take me to outer space, we can do whatever you like. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> <laughs> he he would have been toenail so black. Okay. And you don't know until you get up there. You don't know until you get up there that it's toenail so black. But you in space now. But that's how he fucked it up, going out of space. <laughs> Ain't no turn around. <laughs> I might have to come back. <laughs> you say that now, you don't know how easily accessible space finna be. It's not that far, that's, though. I mean, you right. That's why I not ain't that really like that impressed. It's a two-hour drive. <laughs> two drive to uh, the moon. OK, but Straight wait. Up. You drove there? You can. You I, don't want us to. But, but then everybody about to leave us, first of all. Like, if you not rich. Then they, the, the planet about to combust. <laughs> Put the weed down. I'm telling the truth. Elon and them be going to space. They do. Jeff Bezos. He woke up and was like, man, what Stay you doing after breakfast? Hell. OK, let's go, to, let's go to Pluto real quick. Man, if you Whatever happens to Earth, the rich people is leaving us. They found another planet. what is really going on out here, you'll go, you'll lose your goddamn mind. And that's mind. why they won't right. tell us shit. Because what if we really are Girl, really I, out there, bitch? Hey, I'm, Nigga, I'm, we I'm could be. <laughs> not we need to get our We could be together. on the moon. Looking at the old Earth, nigga. Yeah. We could be right now. The shit that we think is the moon is the Earth that we... That's the old the, Earth. That's the old Earth, nigga. This is why I don't smoke weed. Because I would really be over here. But like, that's a, a, a That's a good mood. point. That's a point. Earth do got a, a natural... And the sun ain't shit but the new planet forming. We ain't going to be around long enough to see that shit. Mm. And the motherfuckers who going to stay on that shit going to look back at this shit like the moon. And then all people, all people don't understand. All religion is based around the sun. Like you know, Jesus no, is called that's the what sun, I, that's not, and all that. The you're sun preaching. is the only thing that you see, and you can see it every day. And no matter if you see it, it's up there. It's, it's Am the I sun. high? And me and Bishop Bean. You know what I mean? What so is y'all smoking? Saying, you know, and you know the sun I can turn your toenails black. This is. I feel. I feel, I feel educated. It's that scientific weed. No, you just call it a little learning. <laughs> ain't no I learned something. Manifesting. Right? I know that's good. right. You know, mm. you get too deep, and then you have to look at the camera it can and say, never be too deep. "Welcome back to the '85 South Show." Ooh. It's party time. It get deep. It's party time. It get deep. You got to just bring it back. Mm. You know, we got a lot of unpopular yeah, people. Oh Lord! Yeah. Who y'all favorite nigga? And you still with him? You still fuck with your favorite no, nigga? I don't. You miss your favorite nigga? I do, but I don't fuck with him. Wow. I, I got cheer. I'm happy. Cheer. Like from the side, I you like. Knew that oh, nigga right. was great. Yes. No, we be like, dang. Oh, yeah. We be like, hey. No, but no, we don't be hating because honestly, I don't want to say. You can say what you like. like. He had actually, when he seen what we had going on, he was like, oh, let's work. And we was like, yeah, nah, we good. <laughs> so both of y'all got my favorite nigga the yeah, same nigga. Yeah, yeah, we got the shit on him. We finally got the shit on him, and it felt good. Y'all, both of y'all favorite nigga the same person? No. Oh, okay. No, we don't fight like, like that. No, I was, we don't like, like, I, I was just asking. No, but no. it was definitely a situation where it was like, okay. So so what made, made him your favorite nigga, and why you stopped fucking with him? Mm. It's, that's a little too detailed. Yeah, um, it so is. You're gonna like, have to, why? Get out, gonna have to talk Classified to information. You, you gotta, gotta We're gonna have to right. check after Chico, the show. You're gonna have to ask that in five summers. Yeah. You gotta separate them. Five, five. Because yeah. they each other's lawyer. You gotta ask them this shit individually. Oh, they are each other's lawyer. Well, it's all, you gotta answer every but, question but, that you ask. But I, I just, 
it, my favorite nigga, I feel like, because honestly, I do feel like he really cared about me, and he did a lot to, like, kind of change my life, if that makes sense. Hold on. Now, let me ask a you. A life-changing nigga? You ever been the chick favorite nigga? Yeah. <laughs> you knew, I knew he was gonna say it. Yeah, I, I, he everybody favorite nigga, let him tell it. <laughs> nah, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm like, saying that. like if there was a nigga somewhere asking you, uh, one of your I, old I, I chicks that question, three. did you think Even she would think of you? Even if I'm not number one, she top three. Would she think of you when a nigga say, well, you do you miss your favorite nigga? And then she like, yeah, but I ain't gonna say who it is. Do you think you would be that nigga? Yeah, she would pull out the little shrine. Oh, bitches be having shrines? I believe it. All the accomplishments and... Yeah. I believe it. That dick probably and, fired. And oh, she has, a shrine? Bitch, I ain't never made a hey, shrine. Hey, now, see? Hey. <laughs> What are the qualities of a favorite nigga from y'all perspective? Uh, what are the, what are the like, qualities of a favorite nigga? I like nigga? men who are supportive. No, not men. Your favorite My nigga. My favorite nigga is supportive. This just and like he love me build down. your person. Yeah. He, 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 he loves me down. <laughs> if, you had, if you got to build your nigga, what would your nigga look like? What would be the characteristics? I have nigga? him. I do have my favorite nigga. Right now. Oh, oh, and we good. And it's oh, very good, happy. Good. I love a good run the stats. That ain't my man, though. That ain't my man. Run the stats, oh. then. What you mean, run the stats? What you said is, you gotta, you know. No, I mean, no, I feel like this, this, this is This is yeah. what y'all can do for men. Like, y'all can give the perspective. Okay, so I don't want to do anything for me. I'm trying to figure out, I'm I'm out if, I'm one, if I'm a favorite nigga, though. <laughs> Like, I wonder who. But honestly, sometimes your favorite, favorite nigga can be something somebody that's. You ain't never thought about that? No. You ain't never thought about if he was a woman's favorite nigga, right? No. You never thought about favorite nigga. I ain't, I ain't never worried about being her only nigga. I just want to be the favorite. No. Right. I gotta be her favorite nigga. Period. <laughs> I just want to be your favorite nigga. I ain't gotta be your only nigga. I just want to be your favorite nigga. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You want to be the only and the favorite? You are reaching for the sky. That's why I'm the favorite, because I'm the only. No, nah, you never, never be the only. <laughs> never be the only. You wanted me to do that? Yes. He was ready too. I knew it. <laughs> he was in there pointing at me and pointing at her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I have a titty. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. You smart. <laughs> what are you? You smart. <laughs> Some of y'all just probably so everybody is right. Get the hair off a of thing. Nah. They're gonna see, all they gonna see all they gonna see is no camera. I done tried to choke her. <laughs> no. Nah. <laughs> For no reason. They're going to be involved. in the comments with the time stamp. Y'all seen when Clayton dropped the show? And then y'all seen when Dre and Moan, Dre and Moan for anything. <laughs> you can shake Dre here. She be like, huh? Nah. For real? I can look at Dre. But no, it's not. I can look at Dre and tell you get to really lay it into her. A, she go, oh, shit. Oh, she's just a very sexual yeah. person, but it's yeah, not a bad thing. Yeah. That's just who she is. She's flirty. She's sexy. That's who she is. Like, she don't. Freak. A lot of times people she's will think that Dre freak. is flirting with them, and she's just not. She's, she's just talking. Freak. You get oh. her by herself, boy. I know when that door closes. You Trust got me, her I see herself. through with my own two I eyes, bet. but we ain't gonna. <laughs> oh, oh. You gotta come oh. on poor mine, and we'll stop. give you the tea. You go on there. They'll tell you. He probably suck a bullet out of jam gun. And I think it ain't no. No. I'm saying, was she acting? No, we had, we had two she different situations. <laughs> so, y'all gonna tell some shit that ain't supposed to be told? I we already said it on the It's our business. How are we not supposed to you tell? We have already talked about this plenty of times on our show. Head. What happened? Which one? Which time? With the better one. Uh, they was both good. Uh, well, whichever <laughs> one you would, if you had to, if, if the world was look. to see no, one, which one would you No, honestly, the first time it happened, um, it was when I had first moved out here and I was staying with Drea. And um, she was dealing with uh, a nice young man. And they decided to go out on the balcony because I was in the room asleep. And they decided to fornicate. And I was like, you know, I was peeping a little bit. And I said, you throwing that thing back, hun. I was proud. <laughs> Putting in the work. And have you ever seen her? Yeah, that's the second time. Oh, oh so that it was, was one and one. Okay, so what? What? You, you, were you proud? <laughs> but y'all ain't never. I was proud. <laughs> we were record time. <laughs> he couldn't hang. Oh, she got what a nigga out of there. <laughs> he couldn't hang. Hey, you got a nigga out of there, huh? Oh my god. You did that. It's too much section in her face. <laughs> This is not about to turn into a poor minds episode. I mean, hey, it is. This is, this is, you so know. you got him out of there. Uh, record time. <laughs> it was. You try to come it was, around you know, have you ever seen the episode like Spongebob where they be like. Five seconds five, later. Five seconds later. Right. Well, thank you for the good time. We about to go. Uh, so I'm just going to see you <laughs> out. <laughs> we was like, girl, let's go. Dre was like, let's go. Like, 
go. I'm not impressed. <laughs> Good times. So y'all ain't never been watching it proper though. Like, what you mean proper? Like, one of you sitting in the chair and the other. No, Drea was definitely like this in the bed. I was like, she was like, oh, this. Okay, that's what I'm saying. No, she was in the bed. She I was, was in the bed. Got your notepad out. Um, yeah. nah, I don't need notes. Nice delivery, but you could have landed a little but better. She, he needed <laughs> notes. She was, she was, she was, oh, she should, she was writing him notes. That's it. I wasn't impressed. She wasn't. We still laugh about that to this day. Were well, y'all young? When no. Did. That was like two years ago. What's your definition of young? I mean, you know, so it was like <laughs> spring break young. You know what I mean? What's your definition of young? I didn't know legs during spring break, so no. No. OK. <laughs> I, and I didn't know her yet. So y'all, would, would y'all be willing to do that now as homegirls? Like, you got your nigga, you got your nigga, y'all in the same room, and y'all just Why got would that. Why would we do that? We got homes. I'm she just, didn't have a I home. I was homeless then. You the first time I was homeless. Oh, y'all so fucked out of, it was out of desperation. That you no, 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 it was my home. It wasn't her house. Oh, I was staying with her was the first time. Out of desperation. I, no, no, no. Just throw your shit down to the bus like that. I was, she I'm was fucking. I'm talking about the time you saw her. It wasn't no. desperation, I was horny. No, no, yeah, and we were at his house, and I had a home by then. Ugh. Okay. I'm still confused. So you were horny, so you wanted to watch her. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I didn't even want to, because it was somebody else. No, was she lying. She was in order. She got mad. She stormed out. Because she kept telling me to fuck this nigga, fuck this. And I had been fucking him, but I knew it was somebody I was just fucking because when I was bored. No, I'm telling you when you stormed out when I was fucking. Oh, yeah, because I was tired. I just got off work. Nigga, don't want to see your put. I see your whole pussy. Now I'm giving you a place to stay and you mad. It was the, it was the crevices Wait, for me. You stormed out? No, I didn't storm out. I just yeah, she left. She did. I just she packed my thing. Yo, that's how I knew she left because she did slam the door. I did not slam you the door. She was in a high rise. The door's closed on their own. You left out in a rage. <laughs> you were upset. I, I folded my things and I said, I am kind leaving. Of people just fuck on down. And they home. <laughs> and I was like, I'm leaving. This shit. You know I'm staying here. You know I'm desperate. So you, you, you saw know. her. You saw 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 her. She saw you because she was horny and wanted to watch you fuck. Um, yeah. We was drunk. drunk. Yeah, we was drunk. And she kept telling us, oh, I want to watch. I want to see. I, I was like, I did it. I was like, he about to nut in two seconds. Like, why is you want, what, what is that a scene? And he did. <laughs> She was right. There's nothing to see here. Did you apologize for making her do that? He should have apologized. He should have apologized. But she orchestrated it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that nigga probably he wasted his best my life. Home. You should have coached him better if you wanted to. What if that's all the pussy he needs? It's two minutes worth. Two seconds. And then he gonna try to tap legs. He tried to tap legs talking about. The champ strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> Stress-free. <laughs> don't nobody call this nigga back. He don't have to play none of these games. We have Every grown time he gets a pussy, he know he cut off. And he's done fast. You know <laughs> how long fucking it quick. Take? Like, if you trying to impress. impress yeah. Ain't nobody mad that he don't no, text but back. He's he not long. getting pulled up you on. Trying to... He ain't getting none of his hoes yeah. chased off. Ain't nobody mad that they talk bitch to every him. day. They run into him, don't get mad if they see uh, him with somebody else. They don't else. even speak Show to this down. man. Yeah. Ain't nobody blowing up his spot. Show down. Man, that nigga probably winning in life, bro. It's this long fucking that get you jammed up. Yeah. Have you ghosted a nigga because his dick was wet? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's the best way to get left alone. Dude, yeah, this fuck mediocre. <laughs> Not mediocre this we have, but this is the thing, though. A man is going to, we talked about this before. A nigga is going to never So you're trying to tell me y'all be fucking bad on purpose? <laughs> I don't believe it. I told you the last time, hey, nigga ain't bringing out his best dick every time. Rip. No, no. Not immediately. Oh, yeah. A lot of niggas don't even some, have some, some dick. Some situations, you just a jerk off machine. You just as good. I did not want to jerk off tonight. When a nigga showing up with his best dick, that nigga bring a suitcase. Then he put them motherfuckers together did. like a sniper rifle. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. But like you said, y'all don't give y'all's best dick or whatever. Because uh -huh. a nigga don't nut regardless. Sex is different for women. That's not true. Really know, do y'all realize? No, it's 70% no, of not. women so y'all need to orgasm. They don't orgasm. It's what? different for us. What? That's no. mad crazy. No, okay. It's not. Ain't but equally. I bet you're, you're nutting more than the average woman when you have sex. Um, yeah. yeah. Just like you said, that man. Exactly. That's just like you saying. said, that man can bust a nut in two seconds. I'm just, to see that. The women not having man. orgasms is not my problem. Them pussies don't work. Some people shit. Some people shit work good. Some people shit. 
is okay, then some people shit just don't work. So I talked to So you saying 70% of who gives a fuck? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to fuck them. I promise you. I talk we looking for the 30. What them working pussies at? <laughs> if you not you, if you don't trash. never have an orgasm, don't keep giving that pussy what see if you can fix it. See if you can fix it. It's broke, it don't work. <laughs> conversation with somebody the other day and what we came to the conclusion like I think niggas tell women that who has good pussy and bad pussy because they y'all be trying to divide us. We don't. <laughs> we don't. Not enough division. We yeah, we don't give a fuck. Y'all be trying to people. create I, division. I can say that we don't create division <laughs> at all. So like, you think it's all the same? It's definitely not. No, I don't. I no. personally don't. But I, it was it was actually a man I was talking to and he was just like, I feel like niggas be just saying this shit. Mm-mm. Like to be cheese. Like I don't think it's no such thing as good pussy, bad pussy. I personally do like feel it? like it's a thing. <laughs> but it depends on the man I feel like he do feel like he's true. It has to be. It's, it's definitely true. But he Is was, there good food? But he was, was bad food. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's going to be a good... So what makes it bad? Like when you had some bad, some well, you got bad spit starting that motherfucker. Because you're not, maybe you're not. But that's your fault. No, it's not your fault. Like you, and that's the thing. That's an easy cop out. It's like that's like a nigga saying that I nutted quick, and that's your fault. Like you didn't provide me with an environment I wanted to be in longer than two minutes. Uh, yeah. No, you, didn't you nutted me, quick because your dick don't last no, long. No, you, you didn't want provide. No you didn't make me feel like this is something I need to do longer than two minutes. You can't do it longer than two How minutes. How do you know that? Because I just might not do it with you. So longer why than two it, so why you didn't do because it? Because I don't want to be in this motherfucker. You ain't got no sheets on this bed. <laughs> you, 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 you got a washcloth as a dish rag. Right? I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. Like, right? I'm not trying to be in this motherfucker. But that's though. crazy that you would even fuck somebody in those conditions. <laughs> you you walk in and you see the dish washing. Why no, fucking me without You a see seat? no sheets and you still pulled your dick up. What? Because <laughs> niggas do shit like that. Trash. Niggas do shit like that. I'm exactly. not about so to that's say you. No, it's not. It's Damn. giving you don't care. Sir. No, no listen, no. Sir. The thing is, is we haven't cared. In- Desperate and homeless at your homegirl house. But I made it. You don't Now, change. I didn't tell you. I did not tell you the information. So you you're going to use it. You see what I'm saying? You stand up. Damn it. You stand up. Stand up. I had to live with my homegirl to make my dreams come true. <laughs> Use that against me. And, and, and women hey, know. Hey, and women no. know. They sit there and be like, maybe you're not stimulating her like that. You know your pussy don't get wet like that when you playing with it. Yes, well, it do. No, it, no, it don't. <laughs> no, it don't. No, it don't. No, it don't. You then, was there. Then, uh, <laughs> was, you, was you there? You don't know what who recorded the situation <laughs> that I have seen. <laughs> you know what? Girl, I'm just fucking with you. I have never seen. I, 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 I just say, seen the way your heart dropped. My bad. I've like, oh. never. I would let you know that if you was out here on the end. I respect y'all enough to be like, hey, go to Paul and type in goddamn poor minds. If it is, nigga, put you out there. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's the thing. A lot of y'all think you're pussy. Niggas fake it, too. I can agree with that. Niggas be in there be like, this pussy is. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, and get out of there. Like, that's just, yeah. It's but not... if it's like that, would you have sex with them again? No. Okay, so that's why you no, know. I you wouldn't. know, you At know. this point, I wouldn't. No. I feel like most niggas wouldn't, unless you just desperate. You know what I mean? But yeah. if you desperate, you don't, don't fuck me. <laughs> I don't want to. All the Can't motherfuckers ain't, ain't built the same. All what? All pussies ain't. I'm just All saying. dicks ain't built the same. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We sit, y'all sitting here saying the same shit. <laughs> Not you ready for us to go? I ain't saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying the same <laughs> shit. It's y'all the same the argument on both, on both sides. Right. It's the same but, shit. You know what I mean? We just got to You understand that somebody it. going crazy for that two seconds? Two? That's what they prefer. Yeah. It's just the preference. It's all about preference. It's Some niggas gonna you say know. you got the best pussy in the world because the shit that come with him getting it, it's worth it to him. Mm. All your bullshit that you, all the bullshit that you think mm. is a problem <laughs> between y'all, it ain't even a problem. Because yeah. he getting what he want this much of the time, it's worth putting up with that mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. But if you get a nigga and you stressing him out and you ain't worth all the shit, it's like, that One shit ain't, that pussy ain't even worth all that. It's another man's treasure. Right. You know what I mean? So it's not just about the pussy, it's the atmosphere, the shit that come with this woman that when you're not fucking her. That can make your pussy better. Are you a good person? Do you make a nigga want to be around you? 
Now you put you fuck. Now that's his thing you can do that ain't sexual that can make you make it. Man, that's what's it. better. And it's and about it's, the knock knock jokes. You no, know, well, that could be one for certain niggas, but it's just the environment. How comfortable do I feel? <laughs> how comfortable do I feel in your space? How, when I'm not, when I'm not, when I'm not fucking you, how at peace do I feel when I come in and you in my you in my environment, I'm in your environment? How do you change the energy? Are you a person that changes the energy when you walk into a room, or do you change it when you leave the goddamn right. room? So I agree. I feel like, I feel like if way, you can't though. sit in silence with someone and it not be awkward and weird, that's probably not your person. Like if I can't sit on the couch with you and maybe some music playing, maybe we just got the TV playing and we can just sit there and talk and not feel—I mean, not talk and not feel awkward. Then I don't need to be around. Let's say this: you can do all those things with a nigga. No, let's say you can do all those things with a nigga. Would you be mad that he can do it with another female if you found that out? I mean, is this my man or somebody I'm just fucking? I mean, if it's your man. Like, let's say your man has the capabilities of being a, a lot of women's man. Oh. Would you, would you, he, would you have? Even he asking about him. So, I'm just, no, I'm just asking I mean, from if, your opinion. But it depends. I mean, for me, I feel like whenever I really say somebody is my man, then that means I want the commitment from him and me. It, oh, yeah, I want that. Okay. So, um, no, so you, I'm not you okay ever with chose that. a boyfriend over the nigga that you fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you, like you said, is it your man or a nigga you just fucking? So say you and you just got a nigga that you fucking. Right. And there's another nigga trying to be your man. Mm. Do you just you analyzing the shit? Do you pick the nigga or the I nigga you fucking? I'm happier with. Oh, I but the nigga that you fucking ain't both. trying to be your man at all. But I'm not gonna, you're not gonna be my man if we not fucking. At this age, I'm not <laughs> interested in just fucking somebody just to fuck. There I'm not go. interested in that. So I'm never even gonna be in that situation right now. But what I'm saying, say for instance, you meet somebody and they nice, and you like, yeah, we could just fuck around. But mm, then that's not gonna happen. You get the opportunity to have a man. I'm not fucking somebody just to fuck. So though. you okay. ignore. Not now. I'm you not, will not ignore at this point. somebody being something that you see that you need and love in your life because he's not willing to do the commitment part of it? Yes. Yeah, because that's not what I want. So why would, oh. and that's why you say you get in situations you know, that you're not I'll... ready for. So why would I put myself in a situation that for? I know that I don't want? What are you ready for? Now they have no Honestly, idea. What you ready for? Why y'all gotta... No, be dishonest. Be dishonest. Dis Fuck all this honest shit. Be dishonest. Who? I'm tired of hearing honest shit. No, but honestly, I feel like I'm ready for something. I, I said this year I do want a boyfriend. I want a man. I want a man. A man. A man. I eventually want to have a child. Okay. So I want to find, you know, really. You want to find a what? You baby know, daddy. somebody that's not a baby daddy. All right, because I'm letting you know, you know. I we don't black. want a baby daddy. I'm not saying nothing's wrong with that. I'm just saying, that's baby not what I want. Be, I'm telling you. But I am looking at, like, I want, I don't mind being with somebody that doesn't you mind You're going to end up single after this. <gasps> nigga going to be all of this until the baby come. Then you're going to have to leave this nigga and that's be back out here with a baby. all the time. <laughs> and you Lex, the baby going to be big as hell. It's going to be hard. My baby coming. <laughs> hey. They're going to be eating four, five Lunchables at the time. <laughs> a bottle? One of them big-ass Maury babies. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my baby eats sausages for breakfast. <laughs> and food. Oh, my. And food. I don't no, like that. Y'all gonna stop coming for my friend. No, I want a no, big baby. You gonna have one, too. I cannot wait. I'm gonna have me a big-ass baby so with So you gonna be a nigga, girl. whole girlfriend. You gonna cut all your hoes off, all that sneak you shit. You ain't gonna have a big baby. I'm saying, you ready to do that this year? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that um, gonna be big Whatever she called her, she met no, I, I no play I shit. You no. gonna be a nigga, whole girlfriend. Yes. All right. I'm a good woman. Don't believe that. And, and I got some good genes. Don't believe you that. You don't think I'm a good woman? I this is know. I think that is the biggest lie niggas ever been told right there. I am a good woman. Nigga, that could be disputed. Why you don't think Lex is a good woman? I, I, I'm I'm not say, I don't right. believe in that shit. Right. You don't You're believe right. there's You're no right. good women? I think women? people are fucking people. <laughs> That's what I believe. It's niggas in jail on death row that ain't never coming outside that's convincing motherfuckers that they good people. They get married and some more shit. But we know they we not a good person. No, the evidence is No, we don't. They could be a good person now. 
Just because they're not a good person to you don't mean they're not a great motherfucker for somebody else. That's so, what I'm saying. So everything just, don't the world work for everybody. Yeah. There is no universal good. But there's good. no universal good thing that make you a good woman. There's no quality that you can possess because anything that you do that's good for you is another motherfucker that's going to hear that and be like, Absolutely. ugly, I agree, bitch. but just I like agree you said earlier, you're like, I'm that nigga. That's how I feel about myself. I'm that, And I'm that bitch to me. Right. So if anybody, like, damn, if you fuck up with me, yo bad. <laughs> Your motherfucking man. You ain't never been that That's what we've been saying this whole time. I am a Leo. Once you I'm find somebody right all the that time. can subscribe to the same kind of bullshit no, no, that you yeah, got, yeah. you won. I know y'all. You say what? Once you no, find wait. somebody that'll subscribe to your kind of bullshit on both sides, uh, you won. I am never wrong. I'm all telling you. right, and I'm perfect. It's a nigga listening to this right now. Like, the bitch lying. The bitch lying. It's, she seven, won't be right. it's at least seven niggas that can't stand you. Seven? <laughs> at least. I've only, I've only been with three. We only we told you this last time. We've only been with three. I know we've been with three. But <laughs> really? I, I'm telling you. Yeah. That's why I know. Why are you why is that so Yeah, three. That's and why I know it's at least seven niggas, niggas that can't stand both. And three of y'all and Roman numerals are still One, three. two, three, then you got them two lines on top. That's five. <laughs> <laughs> Straight you face know what? nigga. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> I will not stand for We got to stop all these three, sexual yeah. investigations with how many people people Possibly. fuck. Possibly. Exactly. Because how many women you have been with? Because the numbers could be astronomical. I believe they are. I've had sex. I only have one child, so that's just, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I say. If it's no evidence, if it's no photos oh, or no children, I didn't fuck yeah, them. Yeah, I fucked them. I only left evidence time. one time, too. Yeah, so. I fucked them. And least. I don't have kids, so I didn't fuck none of you these days. No, I mean, but depending on that, what's different for y'all, though? If I got you on tape, that mean I got it. <laughs> That mean I got it. You can't never deny it. Oh, you didn't fuck me, you're lying. I'll be better off telling you how long I've been fucking at this point. I've been fucking 23 years. Okay, so I'm right here. I would never show nobody no sex tape. I would never show nobody no sex tape. That's what I'm saying from now on. Carlos said, wait, the photo evidence. Wait, 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 wait. Carlos said he's been fucking for 23 years. 23 years. That's wild. Only it's only two. It's only two. Yeah, it's only the body. I've been out here 23 it's years. Fucking. Fucking. You should be an expert That's right now. I have. Ask me something. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ask me something. I know I'm some, I know some things. I'll see what you're trying to do. Yeah, I've been fucking 23 years at least. You wrote a detail or something. Who? I'm talking about actual penetration. Oh. No. <laughs> you know what? Exactly. Real sex. So where? I don't know none of that name. He's lying. Yeah. Who lying? The nigga, the other nigga that said he fucked me. Oh, he did. The third. It was only two. Cause only two got you think about it. It's only been two, cause I was, yeah. Well, don't even worry about it. Ain't it's nobody two. really counting that shit. Yeah, ain't nobody counting. Who gives a fuck? Who I don't gives give a fuck, fuck how many niggas yeah. you fucked before king. you met me. Cause you no, ain't never you fucked know, me. Asking shit like that <laughs> make you susceptible to heart attack. Didn't count anyway. So heart attack. That that you are so you get your stick. That's real shit. Asking women <laughs> questions like that uh, increase your risk for heart attack. Yeah. Wait. How many people they done had sex with and shit? For women? For men. Oh, for men. As a man, it increase your chance of it's having a, heart attack. I think it's a coincidence. You That's ask women shit like that, you gotta start taking Tylenol on the regular. When you turn your test in with somebody else's name on the top, that's what I Y'all having the same body. Oh, oh I mean, it's just... How do you think that's impossible for us to both have fucked three people? Three I'm just saying. Three. Just leave it at that. The way y'all say y'all choose people. your niggas, this is, you Girl, definitely it don't even just matter. fuck three niggas off that. I didn't even say how I choose. You don't know how I choose my you niggas. Had, you did, but I this one is special. Like, I you know never how said how... I never said well, how I know how, how you don't choose them. $20,000 a year is definitely not okay. only that. And it's with a black toe. All right, $20,000 with a black toe, so, you know what I mean? And a business side, too. There's so enough motherfuckers out here where you can find kind of exactly what you want. They just not going to act exactly how you want them to act. They going to look like it, though. Relationships. Uh, require yes. compromise. Well, I mean, the, the root word is relation. Oh. <laughs> what do you have in common? Right. And how are you going to ship these things back and forth towards each other consistently? Relationship. What, what is your 
is y'all laughing at? It's the transfer <laughs> of relations. Right. Right. There you go. You got <laughs> what the fuck? Who got caught up? Nobody. Wow. Dang, you nosy. Ooh, she getting sassy. That her section eight done hit that coochie. Oh my and she god. Got, and she feeling it up in there. Oh she about god. to start talking to y'all crazy. I'm clean. Don't say that. I'm clean, Carlos. Carlos, know he my favorite. Did he say what? Oh, they started. Okay, you know what? She turns my pages. You remember that shit? He builds me up. He builds me up. It raw. That was a lot. That was in the goddamn. That was in the goddamn. That was in the goddamn. He builds me up. <laughs> That's that truth hurts right there. That was an error. Shit, that was a bomb. That was that tweet oh, error. It Smoking was. Smoking cigarette. Man, we really slept on tweet. No, we did. really slept. We did. Smoking cigarette. We did. Okay, but what people don't remember is Sweet oh, and Ashanti came Smoking out at the cigarette? same time. Let's not smoke a cigarette. That's all. And they were, what they always used to try to do was pit artists against each other. Like, who do you like more? Who do you like more? Because Rihanna and Tierra Marie also dropped at the yeah. same time. Yeah. And I hated that they would do that to the artists because, because we're black we people and they know that we. And we couldn't like we couldn't enjoy Tweet and Ashanti. We did. Like, we did. I, I, I mean, we did, but I feel like we she divided. didn't do what she they made was. Us pick. Yeah, they made us. They was making people pick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't do that now. Like, you who did you pick? Um, I pick both. I What's like the lady both. Name that song? Sometimes I'm I brush so... my teeth and sometimes I don't. You know what Who is that? Uh, that was in the eye cream, my yeah. nigga. I could not. in D.C. called 102.1. Oh, I'm just gonna say And it. they used to play that shit. When that shit came out, I'm not the happy girl from the video. And that thing with all the price on my phone. I know, that's right. Because I am a queen. Yeah, he is a queen. I'm like, boy, if they play this shit, just gonna let y'all know. Her and Kim. I enjoy Indian. Mariah Carey. 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 Mariah Carey
about to say, I never was in the Kim era. Oh, my That's God. why we oh, out here losing, bro. I respect Kim because it's Journey, but that same song what was, was his like... his Journey? You know, he was homeless and all that shit. Like, he no, was, I didn't yeah, know he that. He was homeless and playing the piano on the street. He's just, hey, I respect his come up all the way. That's what's up. But I just want that nigga to, like, get in the studio with somebody else one time. Like, <laughs> just one know? time, Kim, just do a song with a nigga with like bag. Jermaine Dupree or somebody like that that'll get... <laughs> so, so, so... Teddy yeah. Riley, yeah, 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 Teddy Riley and somebody give you that, that different yeah. sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah, right. I yeah. want to hear Kim on one of those songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to hear Kim on some shit like that. Don't make him switch it up. Don't make him switch it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, just one time. Welcome to Atlanta. Because if I hear a Kim song and it don't sound like Kim, I'm going to be mad. Y'all are going to hell, both of y'all. I'm not. I want to hear Kim, like, just switch it up. Everybody switch it up. Frankie Beverly got a sound, but sometimes he'll switch okay, it up. Okay, I don't know. That's he'll what we're not going to do. I'm not love Frankie Beverly. That's one of my Those favorite niggas. Those are Negro niggas. spirituals. Yeah, but I'm saying, but he switched the sound up from time to time. What? The Isley brother switched the sound up from time to time. Yeah, everybody do. do. Lick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, he don't. It's that <laughs> no. whoa. Like you sound like a rock and roll singer. <laughs> you sound like Van Halen. Like, Corey Hale. Yeah. Who was that, that was nigga? We was, say Creed. Was, well, that was they, Creed. Uh, yeah. You're my friend. Be the girl. Oh, my my sacrifice. That's all of the others. That was a wild laugh. That's the Creed song. Uh, <laughs> uh, God damn, it's right there. Uh, cannot take you. That shit was annoying as a motherfucker. And you always have the nigga in the background with the <laughs> what guitar. He <laughs> yeah. I don't care what y'all say. That was, Damn. That was a mood. That was an error. Y'all not gonna do Creed. it. Sorry. Okay. It was Creed, Nickelback, a moment in time. Paramore. Paramore. Because Haley could sing. Y'all fuck with Haley. Y'all tripping. Uh, no. Haley Williams, what was that? <laughs> You know, y'all never heard of Paramore? Uh-uh. Oh, damn. I'm not we get, we, we get too far. They're not as too. cultured as we thought. <laughs> no, nah, it's just, oh, trust me, it's a bunch of white people we know that y'all ain't never heard of. Y'all know, y'all know the Doobie Brothers? Who? Who? <laughs> See? That Doobie Ashtray? <laughs> See, I'm just saying, don't try us because we don't know Paramore. Y'all don't know the Doobie Brothers. Who is the Doobie Brothers? I don't know the Doobie Brothers. Michael Brothers. McDonald, the Doobie Brothers. You don't know Michael McDonald? What's the how the song go? It's a bunch of Michael McDonald's songs. Can't forget, you're not in love anymore. That's Michael McDonald. I can't forget, things will never be the oh, same I know that again. Song. I can't forget, now you made it you know so this song. Know. You do know this song. Every time we feel. I know that song, that's my oh, shit. Yeah. I feel like y'all, I never knew who sung it. it. Thank you. Okay. okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Y'all would know stuff like Meatloaf. Oh, I know Meatloaf. Meatloaf. I would do anything for love, but, but I won't do that. See, I knew he was going to know. That song called Meatloaf. Why do you know Meatloaf? Meatloaf, that's a hit. <laughs> Rest in peace, Meatloaf. Huh? He just died. Meatloaf did just, Meat just, Meat 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 just died. He did rest in peace, Meatloaf. He said he'd do anything for love. <laughs> what about that song? That I won't do anything for love. What you I won't about do that? anything for what love. I won't, that? but that? won't do that. That's my nigga, man. He was singing. You ever seen a video for that shit? Uh-uh, I haven't. That nigga's man. like a gargoyle or some shit like that, riding through the, through the, like, he was like the bitch, he was like the, uh, the gargoyle, the hunchback. I am dead. Yeah, that was my shit. I'm riding in my old hood, but I'm in my new wheel. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, we fuck with white people oh, shit over there. Who that song? I won't go, I can't go for that. No, that's Hall no. Yeah, no, no can do. That's Hall a vibe. That is a vibe. All the notes, they, they, they two of the dopest yeah, white men out there. they were talking about? <laughs> you need to shut up. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Bitch, I got a black toe. Oh, I can't go for that. And no. I can't. Yeah, that's fucked that's up. That's my theme song. And Carlos has had enough. I can't go for that. Carlos had enough. Carlos know a bunch of white people music. We had this conversation all the time. Yeah, Carlos had enough. What's your favorite white person? Carlos Carlos know a bunch of white people music. We had this conversation all the time. What's your favorite white person song? Of all the time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh. That's a hard question for us. Man. That's a hard I one. I think that's my favorite one. Because it's too hard to pick one, man. It's too hard to pick one. We got too many. Nah. We just got to shout them out. Red Hot Chili Peppers under the bridge. 
Ooh, that was a good one. That is a good Dream one. of California Cation was if a bomb. You don't bring up red hot chili peppers. You gotta bring up scar tissue. Can we yeah. talk about dog treat? I wish you so. Man, one of my favorite uh, white people songs. This is my man, my man name. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name, but they new kids on the block had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes, makes me sick. sick, and I like girls who wear that Let that for the summer, for the summer. summer. Oh, who yeah. this though? I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. Indeed. I take it like a hand one wish. That was, that was my shit, bro. Yeah. What was the other song? Y'all remember the one? Um, you my butterfly, sugar. Oh baby. yeah. My lady. Crazy time. My lady. Yeah. Crazy time. Yeah. 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 You told me. Now you always do a one year. One year. Okay. 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 Wow, that's what I call you. Y'all niggas ain't really fucking with me. 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 I've been listening to all kind of shit. Like, I just be I walking through the airport. Mom. Like, it's the early and 90s, and I just play some. I'll fucking play yeah. Eagle Eye Cherry, Save oh, Tonight. Yeah. Fuck with that. I know that's right. You done got deep in your little bag. But that's, he black, though. Who? Oh. Eagle Eye Cherry. Eagle Eye, yeah. But uh, that, that's, tonight. keep going, though. We love this guy. Uh, we had we'll talk about this shit for hours. Man, <laughs> man you know, I, I, like to, I like to listen hours. to oh, God. Steve Miller Band, Abracadabra. That's my shit. Abracadabra? Yeah, it's this dope ass song. It's, it's, it's just dope as fuck. What's my other shit? Jassy is a friend. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yes, she's been a good That's Rick friend of mine. Dun, 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 dun. But lately, something changed. It ain't hard to define. Jesse's got himself a girl, and I want to make her mine. Because he's watching her with those eyes. And she's rubbing them with body. I just know it. And she's holding them in her arms late at night. I wish I had Jesse's girl. Oh, that's that one. I wish that I had Jesse's girl. That's one of the most disrespectful songs ever made. Nah. <laughs> what about you? Name like, like dude. Uh -huh. You know the other one that's real disrespectful? Mm -hmm. Stacy's mom has got that's it going what you on. Yeah, Stacy's mom has got it going Stacey on. Stacy's can I come over after school? Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can chill all night. And yeah, white people got some, they got some uh -oh. RB songs. They, some white people they, love they, making uh, music. Well, there was a band that actually remade a Michael Jackson song, and it was good, like, because you can't just redo Michael Jackson songs. Dirty Diana? What was, no, no, no. Alien what was it? Yeah. Yeah. Alien Ant Farm. What song was it? And are you okay? Smooth, Smooth, Smooth criminal. criminal. And it was good. Yeah, like, you can't just. They just what's my shit from up? Last Dra I'm yeah. not Last Dragon from Karate Kid. I am the man who will fight for your honor. I'll be the <laughs> That's hero the end of karate that kid. you're <laughs> dreaming of. Why was you about to sing that song from Mulan? <laughs> Knowing together that we did it all for the glory of love. That That's was Karate Kid, yeah. too. But I'm not gonna yeah. lie, some of the best songs come from movies. Yeah. We yeah. said that, what's the, the Lion King movie we were singing the other day? Deception, disgrace. When Scar was moving around the cave, <laughs> Scar had some box. First oh, of all. I just can't wait to, to be king. Like, no, Lion King had some song. box. Movie, be prepared. That was a good Be prepared. That was a good song. That was a good song. That was a good song. Be prepared for what? Death of the King. Why? Is he sick? No, we're going to kill him. Yeah, that was a good song, bro. That's what I'm saying. That was a good song. Some of the best movie songs come from movies. That was a good song, bro. Be prepared was a hit. That was a. My favorite Disney song is got that Mulan. I, me too. Boy, that Who, Which one? I'll make a man out of you. Oh, I'll make a man out of you. Make a man, make a man out of you. Make a man out of you. That's my shit. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. The fort, you the could forest, be so bad. Or be dumb. The hun. <laughs> Did he give me daughters? <laughs> Did I give me sons? You're, You're the sad. Bunch I ever met, and you can bet we're going through. <laughs> yes, sir, I'll make a man out of you. Hey, you know what's another Disney movie? This shit that you in the high school music. Y'all gotta watch Encanto, nigga. That that new Disney movie Encanto. with the Spanish Encanto, Encanto. My dad shit. It's Don't good, me. really. I didn't watch it. Me and my it. daughter, man. Listen. Cause I watched Coco eighty thousand times. Coco. 
Pokemon was so good. Oh, yeah, but that the is the so good. <laughs> it's a song when that motherfucker, she asked Bruno. You talking about the new Bruno one? what's wrong with him? She said, Bruno, why the sad face? That nigga Bruno said, I. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm talking about he hit that bitch. He said, I just have so much love inside. I'm Not like, nigga, love inside. <laughs> Me and my daughter bang that every time we see each other. I be like, hey, baby, what you got? She's like, so much love inside. Like, Big mood. Baby. All the way. Watch that shit. I'm going to watch it because I like Coco. So everybody was saying, like, if you like Coco. Coco is so That's good. Coco and Coco. The songs. For real? It was one of them? It was. It, you gonna cry. You definitely gonna cry. But the songs are good. The whole shit is about the afterlife. Yes. The whole shit is about the afterlife. I don't know if I need to watch that. My mama just died. I mean, fucking rather right be in the house blue. Like, and it, it's but the good, only though. The only stay alive in the afterlife means your family has to keep you in Oh, I. We gotta keep you in remembrance. Mm. That's the only oh. way you stay in the afterlife. Oh, I got the watch that. What's it called? What's the holiday called, right? Damn. The Coco oh, holiday, wow. what's it called? Yeah, that's yeah. cold right there. Damn, that's, that's, a, that's a man. Dia de las Mertes. <laughs> Not Merkum. <laughs> Mertes. Oh, I thought you said Dia de las Mertes. Don't you hear them? <laughs> you know I'm bilingual. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. I did hear him, but you know I that. Was, you know that. I watched it, but it's still like that. It was really good. No, Coco <laughs> is a good movie. You need to watch it with your daughter, I for will. sure. She probably not already seen it. <laughs> you know what I mean? She be watching shit without me. Disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I be I mad. This was like, I get Fratano. mad at my daughter. She be coming. I be hearing that. Nelly Furtado had Bob Stu. I'm like, baby, what you doing here watching? Oh, I'm just watching something you wouldn't like. How the fuck you know I wouldn't like it? Shit, tell me about this shit. She put me on the, all the uh, anime shit. Like, I boy. I never that watched Naruto. anime. That shit good to the bitch. I tried to get somebody to get me into anime, but the stuff they told you me to watch, I didn't like it. You got to get a kid that's going to explain to you okay. who each person is and why mm. you should and should like them. OK, OK. That shit, that shit I need like, to watch it with somebody like who really. It's like a soap opera. Right yeah, that's what be, that he's saying. Like, she, she do. She, she do, but I, feel, I like stuff like that. I love cartoon. I love Marvel movie, everything. DC, I'm so into Man, all that stuff. Man, that nigga loves putting me on to that. What's that shit, Beverly Hill? Uh, I mean, uh, what's that, that cop, that police show you cartoon? Show sure you put me on, on Paradise PD. Paradise PD. Oh, we talking about uh, Netflix. <laughs> hey, but it's just so goddamn that funny. shit is funny. I love. What's the other one with the kids in high school? Oh, Abbott oh, Elementary. Yeah. No. Oh, you the talking cartoon. about the cartoon? I know. Big mouth. mouth. Big mouth. Big, Big mouth, mouth is hilarious. That shit is so vulgar. It's so vulgar. You know what show me and Lex really both love? The Office. Oh, oh, The Office is a classic. Oh. I don't think everybody love it. I feel like you if have you, If you watch it, then you love it. Like, it's one I of went to um, Chicago but a few months ago, and I dragged my one of my best friends with me to go to the museum, and she was miserable. She was one of the people who hates The Office, but it was so I much fun. I think it's an acquired taste. It definitely is. That's a whole story. And it was so yeah. much fun. That's not one of those shows funny. that, like, it's certain shows that you can tell that it's like, it's an acquired, like, for example, I love True Blood. That was my shit. I know a bunch of people would be like, how you watch that shit? Mm -hmm. That shit, uh, I, that was my shit. Grey's Anatomy, too. Yeah. Grey's Anatomy, 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 Grey's An
talk about all the scandal in the church, though. Ooh. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's a drama now. All Amen. the sad babies. All the sad babies and they all the grown. scandal that go oh, on in the church. I will, I will he out in the community in trying to stop <laughs> gang banging. I'm going to come church in the church. I'm going to come 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 in the church. i am going to come in the church 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 i Lines, lines. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. Lines. <laughs> hey guys, let's just try to stay on paper today, okay? We really behind. We got a lot of catching up to do. We Wait. really don't have time to improv. You know what was a good show on Netflix though, and I feel like we haven't had that in a long time. Something new. Oh, what was Mike Epps show that he had? The Up Show. The Up it's Show yeah. back. was it's so good. good. It's coming back. So fucking funny. They just won some awards. I haven't and shit. seen like a shout out to Mike Epps. Yes, yeah, it was like a sitcom funny throwback, yeah. and it was good. Like I feel like a lot of people be trying to do sitcoms and bring them back, but it don't be good. But Mike that Epps shit was funny. Miss Pat was funny. Show funny, as hell. The, everybody was funny. Everybody was funny. Shout out to Miss Pat. Oh yeah, Miss Pat show. It's funny. Yeah. Her shit real too. Like my mom, mm, people was definitely. It was. Do you ever feel like it's rare for you, people to make you laugh though, like in person? Yeah. Like Mike Epps is. is like the, one of the only like comedians who I like. You gonna say that shit? And I thought about saying, hold on. First of all, nigga. Yeah, we gonna go wrap this shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's the end of the show. <laughs> Way to try to fucking make a comment. Okay. Okay. First of all, I was not done because I actually was gonna say y'all too. Like y'all are some of the funniest people. It's I've three been. though. I know. Okay. I said y'all. He said. Two. I'll say this. I will no, say just, this. Honestly, I just, I just think y'all. Yeah, 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 when we have conversations, too, I really think y'all are funny as too, fuck. Like, I feel like it, it shows though. Too, like I be cracking up. Too, yeah. But no. But not only that, it I do feel like when you. people, you know how like everybody will sit there and they'll have debates about like who's the best comedian, rapper, whatever conversations they have. That's I good. honestly, I take offense to it when people don't bring y'all's name in the don't conversation. Get I do because it's like you gotta understand. No, it is offensive. I'll be like, are you serious? Because I'm not. I'm telling y'all, I literally don't think nobody is funny. And when we went to Jacksonville, I when I tell y'all, I was cracking up. Like, I had a literally a good time. And I know people gonna think I'm biased or whatever. Yeah. But Probably I can good. honestly say, like, when we came on the show, funny. every single time I'd be like, these niggas is legit funny. Man, if legit. you tell people I to agree. name their top five comedians, Three of the motherfuckers is dead. <laughs> Two of them don't do comedy no more. Or not only that, and maybe one These of them. One of them might have never been. Or doing like, Instagram skits where they can just sit there and think about it. And I'm not dissing nobody. But, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, nigga, if you can sit, if, like, you can sit right. down and think I'm of a skit and be funny. But y'all literally person, are like improv. I do think that's true. Anybody can sit down and think of something funny. If you ask the average person who they top five comedians are, they gonna name three people who did. And two niggas who don't do comedy no more. These people be about 15, 20 years behind on their opinions of who comedians are. Right. Yeah. Like, and as, I, won't, when you I, ask, I won't say people now because of that. Right. Because when you ask people, people first, who they favorite <laughs> comedian are, they, I yeah, mean, who their favorite comedian is, I'm going to say you before. They the just going to say some crazy <laughs> shit. Homage. But that shit just going to show you that it's like, that's what they watch. That's all they got access to. So yeah. you can't knock them. Ain't, everybody ain't gonna be like, who, who the new niggas? I, I, all right, the new niggas, I like, uh, uh. Who cares? Yeah. They ain't gonna know nobody, but the I'm Instagram you, motherfuckers who they didn't The funniest see. shit, I be, it be some shit that you done said that I literally, I don't care how many okay, times I, I see it. Puppy in this I'm a fucking laugh. When you told that lady she had the, the boots that <laughs> SpongeBob be cooking burgers in, just walked the dog I, in this I don't care how many times I watch that, I'm a laugh. I is think Kanye true? seen oh, that clip. Funny. That is the funniest clip. I think Kanye ever. seen that clip because after we that shit clip, came out, he was like, like he that lady, they was not, they was at I'm the show. That nigga Same watched this show. No, not that uh, one. When the lady had the boots on, it was the old lady. He was like, she got those boots on that SpongeBob be cooking burgers again. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Why would you say that? 
like we say shit like that. That's what I'm saying. Because that's our vantage point. We see shit that most people don't see. We able to make exactly. connections and tie things together that most motherfuckers not even gonna notice that you look like. Carlos told a lady. Nah, Carlos is. She was in a wheelchair. He said this bitch was drinking and driving. He did. He said, you not see it. Why did you do that? You not she see it. Was. I don't she care was what. drinking. If you ain't been to 85 South Show, you are not living yeah. properly. Those be the funniest shows ever. That's why I just wanted to give y'all y'all props, because y'all are here. We will take some props. We'll take Period. some props. Because these niggas have no idea what's coming they know. next. And y'all show everybody love. Y'all let people come on y'all yeah. couch, and y'all show them love, and y'all pump. Y'all, they, y'all pump them up, and we here to guess, y'all. We are, because y'all niggas is funny. Y'all be here cracking up, and niggas do not make me crack up. Don't make me crack up. And they don't. Except for Mike Epps, but you said that. But Mike, except for Mike Epps, they That nigga funny for real, man. But that nigga is really funny. Like, I literally went to his live show, and I was cracking up. I've been to a few, like, comedy shows, and I don't be laughing. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just be like, (laughs) Yeah, I've been to one, and I was like, yeah, it just don't this ain't those don't make no goddamn sense. A lot of people think they way more funny than they are. Yeah, and tell they me not. about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's stop. Tell me about it. And before we I'm get off the, the wrong part, I'm not there in the front of oh, yeah, We're not hating on nobody. I'm going to these clubs, man, and these people is telling me who came through there, who wasn't <laughs> shit, and it just put so much pressure on me <laughs> to just rock that motherfucker for the whole yeah. time. I'm out there, and I don't care. This, oh. Niggas crazy. I know, man. And scene. That's why I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I need to be. <laughs> we need. Uh, what y'all got coming next? What y'all doing next? What y'all doing? Next? Uh, we y'all are working. about to start touring. Yeah, we about to start touring. Um, we got a show in Charlotte, and it's gonna be in March. Yeah, it's gonna be in March. We got so show. I'm out my neck of the woods. If I'm there, I'm definitely. Yeah, for sure. That would yeah, be amazing. We're gonna be dropping the tour date soon. You know. We're always working on new merch. Yeah. We actually have our merch on right now. Stand up and show it off. Stand up and show it off. We got some of it over there. Why you gotta show them the heart? Oh, I gotta show them. Mm-hmm. Period. Y'all is my favorite pose. Y'all gonna show them the heart. 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 We're gonna do some Houston dates. Of course, we're gonna do Atlanta, New York. We're gonna go to a few different places. We got new merch dropping. The merch is absolutely fire. Yeah. I'm super excited about that. We actually just had our first live show in Nashville. Yeah, I know. In yeah. November. We had two shows in one night. They, the first yeah. one sold out. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was crazy. Beautiful. Proud of the night. That's why we always go to our live shows, because we definitely be taking notes. Yeah. What's your, what notes you got? Don't tell them. Yeah. <laughs> Keep them to yourself. Keep Let them make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 but no, honestly, it's the, the, girl, so the, the girls who went to the show and everybody, the, the guys that showed up, everybody that came to the show, they had a great time. Yeah, yeah I man. Think we got great. a different kind of fans, man. Yeah. A lot of different kind of people out there who's just, you know, fuck with fuck with y'all like that. Yes. What's up, man? Yeah. yeah Salute to y'all. We put them for y'all. We push them for y'all. And y'all Thank got you. our support and everything that y'all we do. We appreciate it. Sure. Thank you. All the way. This is another not classic. Not all the shit you be on. It's you always. This is another classic I'm not episode. about to support all the we shit you be on. We did it again. Yes, you do. Yeah. Not all of it. You love me down. What's wrong with the shit she be on? So she be on some Carlos other love shit. Carlos loves me. Carlos loves me dead. give her fives out. Let me see. I am. Uh, they say hairy girls got good pussy. Yeah, I know. That's oh, what they say. Right. And they say you got good pussy. You be making up shit. You think I be making up shit. Making up shit. Went to a werewolf change, too. Like, the moon went down hairy right before she changed all the way. That's what they said. They be lying. Yeah. Another hairy girl. Say what you said. 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 That's the say type of shit we're talking about. Shifting the culture. <laughs> if you don't know, get familiar. Go subscribe to the app again on your other phone. <laughs> Put it on two phones. Put it on yeah. both phones. Channel 85. Channel 85. Familiar or you didn't know. Hell that's the yeah. way to go. Download We're coming the soon app. on the Android, the PlayStation. I'm trying to get the app where you can put it on the smart refrigerator. Yeah. I know, exactly. that's right. Yeah, yeah, nigga, oh, we trying to figure out if you got any plugs where we can just stream 85 South on the gas pumps outside. Yeah. Get with me. 
We need a, um, we need one of them boys in Vegas. Yeah. Anybody the who want to, we need, we we promoting this shit everywhere. And they come standard on all LGTV. Yeah. yeah. If you got Jump a van, let me say that I'm bitch, and you just drive it around and give us promo. If yeah. you live in a city and the billboards, they not expensive. Send me the info. Um, Outside of Evan, Missouri. Uh, advertising, yeah, Missouri, like marketing. Get at me. All the way. My budget is $75. I don't know, that's right. I'm not no, gonna I'm just you. bullshit. I was about to say, I'm about to book you. $75, I was like, shit. My budget is $75. We got $7,500 uh, a piece. Who? Me? We're gonna be in at $7,500. <laughs> <at least. laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, you well, got anything. You got any plugs <laughs> anywhere, I need them. <laughs> Plug me in. Yay. Yeah, man. 2022, big business. Make sure y'all follow us at Poor Minds on Instagram. It's P O U R underscore M I N D S. On YouTube, it's Poor Minds, all the apps. You know, period. Follow the girls. You did. Mm. Hell yeah. This was a good episode. It was. Y'all are very passionate people. <laughs> yeah. About nothing. About the same shit. <laughs> so to sum this all up, uh, Men and women have the same problems with each other. And just express them in different mm. ways. Amen. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Can I sign this table today? Yeah. I feel like I've been on here a few times. I could deserve. Yeah, you can do your thing. No. But all I'm Nobody saying to the people me. who watch this is, don't change too much too fast. Not that you ask, Everybody got to ask. OK? Amen. Everybody got a whole lot of bullshit that comes along with them. And all you got to do to manipulate to make this shit happen is find somebody who got the same kind of bullshit that you got. That's willing to subscribe to your bullshit the way you willing to subscribe to theirs. Mm. That's it. That's the game. That bullshit is. subscription. Yeah. Mm. I like it. I find somebody that who got this, like, this your bullshit, this theirs, if that shit do like that, you I gotta stay. Go for that. Even if your toenails black. No! No! Yes. Or you somebody don't on give them. a fuck about that. Yeah. Paint your Love toenail, it. toenail color. Love that's you. a deal breaker. In 2022. Paint your toenail, toenail, toenail color. color. Find yeah. somebody that's gonna love you your feet. Me. We out this Love bitch. you in 2022. 85, <laughs> talk to you. Bye, y'all. Bye. It's party oh, time. Black people, yeah. black people, yeah. black people, yeah. black yeah. people. Yeah. It's party time. Pineapple. Pineapple. Mm. Black people, okay, black people. Okay, take the shit off me. I have to um, pee. Yeah. Oh, I gotta pee. I love it. Oh, now okay. see?